Hey everyone, how are y'all? Libra Moon, how are you? Wait, Avery, what did she make me say that for? Uh, Dan, no, I wasn't really sick this past week. It's just been, my head has been killing me. And Grave Evidence Podcast with Avery. Thank you so much for becoming a member. Lady V, how are you? And can everybody hear me okay? Okay, I just want to make sure. Uh, hey, Kelly V, it's just on. How are you? I don't know what is up with YouTube, y'all, but it will not let me edit anything. So, for right now, we're just going to have to deal with uh, the live reaction thing at the bottom of the chat. Okay, y'all don't forget to put your chat on live chat. Email is pinned to the top of the chat and make sure to hit that thumbs up on your way in. Sally May. <laughs> okay. Cats Meow, how are you? <laughs> Sally May, poor Avery, she gets blamed for everything. I don't know what is up with my YouTube. Avery, how are you? I'm good. I'm coming right. Oh, I forgot to change my picture. I'm coming right on up here to tell you what happens when you don't go live. <laughs> oh, Lord. Libra Moon is posting videos in Discord that nearly gave me a heart attack. I almost died. I threw my phone. This was <laughs> the first video. I peed myself a little. And then I was dumb enough to follow up for a second video. Sally is completely out of control in Discord. I just don't even know what we're going to do. With it, you know? <laughs> I mean, I can't shit. believe you didn't see that coming, Avery. And then my ass went and made a whole new channel. I mean, shit gets out of hand when you're not around. I, I was it really to, does. It really I was, does. I was trying to keep up in Discord, and I would be gone for a little while, and then I'd come back, and I'd start seeing, like, all these pictures of cougars, and I'm like, what the hell is going on in here? And Sally Mae's like, see, Scarlett, this is what happened. We're, we're all just, we stay in trouble, and we get out of hand, or however it was that she put it. <laughs> oh, but you know what? We have eyes on you, Scarlett, because we'd be texting each other, right? And we're like, uh -huh. Has anybody heard from Scarlett? Is Scarlett okay? And guess what? I get a text message. Scarlett just commented on a tweet over on X. She's alive. <laughs> we have eyes everywhere. <laughs> Same thing happens here, by the way. I'm like, no, I don't know anything about Scarlett. <laughs> no, I have actually, since Saturday night when I ended my live, I woke up Sunday and I had like the worst headache uh, along with neck pain and I didn't even get about a bit I've literally slept off and on since Sunday mm -hmm. I have been 
it, it's still hurting a little bit, but it's not as bad as it was. So I think it's starting to finally go away. I figured you were binge watching One Tree Hill. <laughs> no, I, I still haven't, still haven't uh, got to that yet. There's something going on with um, headaches because Meta Mom, she's oh, been I've in been bed. having headaches. Yeah, my head's she, been killing me. Meta Mom's been in bed with a migraine for days, mm -hmm. and she has like migraine meds and everything. And then she just sent me a picture of her blood pressure. And her bottom number's up to, you know, it's kind of high. Right. Um, and then um, I had a headache, and I've never had one just on one side of my head. But I have one on just on my left side of my head and in my left eye. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I've been noticing I've been a lot fight. of people have been, been having fighting. one. Yeah, I've been fighting headaches since this whole thing started with me. This flu or whatever I had. Um, oh, yeah. Debbie Johnson, how, how are you? And Debbie says uh, in chat that she's had a headache for, for the past three days. Yeah. See, yeah, I've been seeing like just people commenting all over um, about having debilitating headaches. Yeah, it could, I don't know if it's you know the the pollen down here or what's going on, but like it was, it was, it was really bad. I think Thank it's you, chemical. Pink Scarlet chemical warfare somewhere i don't know what it is but I, all i did was slip and then i would get up a little while you know and talk to y'all in discord and i was wanting to go live the other night and i i had to lay back down i couldn't it's like i couldn't sit up mm. i don't know how you can sleep like that that long because um when like when after my car accident and mm -hmm. i had to be in the bed for my neck and my back like i would get after a day or two like if I laid on my left side, oh, my I left hip, yeah. my hip would start hurting. If I laid on my right side, my right hip would start. Like it would get so uncomfortable for me, just to, like I can't, bed. I can't, I can't lay in bed that long anymore. I just my body hurts too badly. Well, mine would hurt too, but I would have to turn from side to side, or then end up laying on my back. Or that at one point I was laying at the opposite end of the bed, just to try to get comfortable because I was. Really? Mis oh. Yeah, I was miserable. You poor thing. Oh my gosh. Have so, you ever checked into? Um, I actually seen it <clears throat> on a commercial today. Um, Botox for headaches. I think oh, they please. inject it into your neck. Yes, my sister-in-law had that. I am not doing a Botox in my neck. Uh uh Yeah, but I, w I mean, I was reading really, really good reviews on it that it works. Yeah, she she had migraines also, and she said that uh, that's what she went and got hers done for. Um, and she said that it, it helps to a certain point, and mm -hmm. then after that, it, it doesn't help anymore. Didn't and then there's also that... A while back? It seems familiar. There's also that earring that you can get in the... I don't know what part of what you call that part of your ear... Yeah, I've thought about that too. About I call it your, your wind flapper protector. It's like a piece of cartilage. <laughs> wind flapper protector. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know what you, I know what you're talking about. I can't remember what it's. It's not a trigger, is it? People get like a earring put in there. Yeah, and it takes away their migraines. Yeah, it's supposed to help for that. I have thought about it, but I never have it. Have had it done. Hey, Kelly M, how are you? You should try the Botox. Like, I don't, well, I don't know, like, for the headaches, how far the, the needle goes in. But whenever I used to Botox my face, I mean, he would oh, do, like, Lord, 100 injections on my face. But it was just little, tiny pinpricks. I think well, that's how it is when they do it for the migraines also. Because my sister-in-law said it didn't hurt her at all. It just, like, it didn't, like, it worked for a, a few months. And then after that, it quit working. And, and your insurance will cover it if it's for migraine. Right. right. So, I don't know. I thought about doing the, the earring thing. Too bad they won't do your face. <laughs> they do your face. I'd be at the doctor right now. I got a migraine. I need Botox. Hey, uh, Glowbug. Just trying to make sure I was catching up with everybody in the chat. I don't know what is up with y'all YouTube tonight, but I cannot. That irritates me. I cannot edit anything on my YouTube. Oh, did you see <clears throat> Labor's comment about Sebastian, his name? Where did she leave the comment at? 
in ch- it was in the chat before you started live. Oh, I'll put, I'll put it no. in there. Okay. Yeah, I must have missed it. <laughs> Dan. Dan, is that even physically possible? Uh, Metamom, I don't know if probably a, a tattoo shop that does piercings could probably do it. I don't know if any other place that does like regular ear piercings could do that spot or not. They have to have a special license if it's in cartilage. Right. Wait, where did I spill the wrong at? Hold on. Um, Avery, where at? In your thumbnail. I found it. It's called a date piercing. D A I T H. How did I spell it wrong? No, I didn't. It's S E. Not SA. Oh, son, I spelled the wrong everywhere again. Jesus. <laughs> well, I'm, I did the same thing. I've been spelling it wrong, too. Okay. Two seconds, I'll have that fixed. Y'all give me a minute. Let me fix it, because I did. I put an SA instead of an SB. In Sebastian's name, and I want to make sure that it's spelled correctly. Isn't 92 high for a pulse rate? Mm mm. Not really. I thought resting pulse rate is 60 to 70. Oh, a resting one? Yeah, she's in yeah. bed. She's laying in bed, and her pulse is 92. Who? Christy, met him on. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, it, if, if she's resting, it would be. I'm just all telling all her information up here. Her diastolic is 87. I told her that's high. That's three points away from pre-hypertension. Because when mine hits 90, it'll shoot up to over 100 quick, and then I gotta get a shot in my stomach. Okay, it's not. Hold on. Libra, no, you're good. There's no reason to apologize. I'm glad that you let me know. Libra needs to be apologizing to me for the rest of my life after those videos she posted. I can't believe you didn't see that coming. Those I, have been around since the 80s. I didn't expect her to do that, though. Really? Hey, Princess Megan, how are you? Tony, how are you? Okay, y'all, it won't let me change it right now. And for some reason, I cannot edit anything on YouTube so I'm just going to have to wait until after the live to do Lib- it. Libra is my morbid sister, okay? <laughs> <laughs> All things scary. Her and Princess uh, Lane. <laughs> well, I had found one one time where something jumps out at the screen and I sent it to everybody. I made Summer cuss me. <laughs> <laughs> I think Scarlet cussed me too. But Didn't I don't, Summer like almost break her phone or something because of it? Yeah, but I don't like it being done to me because it really made my heart hurt. See, there's no fun in that. <laughs> we can't, if we can't scare you back. Mm-hmm. And then I was worried about Sally Mae watching it. <laughs> do, do you want to others, Avery? I know, right? <laughs> As you would have them do unto you. Let me finish that statement. <laughs> It's just not that. It, okay. It's like when my daughter, like if we go to the gas station and my daughter gets out, you know, I always make sure that they have to walk in front of my car to get into the gas station. And when they get in front of my car, I, I lay on the horn because they do all kinds of like funky shit with their bodies all flying in the air. <laughs> but then <laughs> they do that to me one day. And I almost threw my back out. <laughs> Paybacks, man. Paybacks. That's all I'm saying. 
Jesus, y'all. Y'all are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to get Jaden one time a couple of years ago. <laughs> he, just, he just stopped dead in his track and just <laughs> stared at me. <laughs> I'm kind of hard to scare. Y'all are just... I don't know. I ain't going nowhere with none of y'all. I can tell you that now. Dude, I saw that one coming, Libra. Which, I didn't see the videos that Libra posted. Thank don't God. Watch. I think it's the same face I've seen back in the 80s, even. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm almost scared to you now. <sighs> oh. It is That's still... I, I'm, I'm going to get Libra back. back. I'm going to get her back. I'm plotting. Okay. All right. Um, okay. Did y'all know that can you play Seth's new interview? Yes, the Libra Moon. I actually have it pulled up to play it. Uh, the one that he, the Fox Nashville one, Libra, is that the one you're talking about? I don't know if you see when she's sitting. Yeah, I think I so. I think okay, yeah. I actually have it pulled up to play. The one I haven't been able to see yet, I haven't had a chance, is the Fox News one with the parents. The proud foot. Yes. Okay, well. I I have not, I haven't watched any of theirs. I came across, and I didn't know that Libra had sent it to me in Discord because I had clicked off my Discord earlier. Um, but it is the same one that she sent to me. And uh, it, it actually clears up a few different things that has been put out to the public. I read their, their divorce papers, Seth and... Um, Katie and boy it's it juicy really apparently she had a drinking problem and a violent problem and <laughs> yeah it's well, really juicy. how how long was they married I didn't I, I was too into those details to look <laughs> oh, Lord. it's good it's good and juicy mm-hmm Okay, um, Libra said I can't find Fox News one. Libra, the one that you sent me was a, a Fox, well, it's Fox 17 is the one that you sent me. Yeah, uh, it's just on. I haven't seen it. Uh, but, yeah, it's like nine and a half minutes long, and I listened to it right before I went live. And it does clear up a few things. Uh, now, they did, like, the bio dad, the mom, and the stepdad did meet with TBI today. Uh, and he was even asked about that in the interview, but he couldn't give any information. Uh, so he does, so like I said, he, he does clarify some things. Just like the lights that everybody was screaming about that was in the backyard wasn't even lights. It, it, was no, it wasn't people uh, in the backyard. Yeah, it so, was a trash. Yeah, I've seen that one. I've yeah. seen that one. So it was it was a trash truck. Uh, so let me let me just pull it up and I'll go ahead and play it. I don't want to give all the all the details. Well, um, Scarlett, let me ask you. Um, have you listened to the dis the um dispatch call? Yeah, the nine one one call. No, I think Libra sent that one to me as well, but I haven't had a it's, chance to watch it yet. It's so. It's so concerning because the police officer is saying on the radio that he sees the footprint or something going to a pond. Going to the pond, yes. Okay, who was it? Or maybe it was either Leaper Moon or, or Sally May that I was talking to earlier about it. And they were saying that that's what it was saying, that it leads to a pond. I was like, well, did they search the pond? Yeah, they drained it. It was okay. It's only a knee-deep pond, and they drained it. It's a retention pond. Okay. Back behind the house. But, yeah, that's... they seen the footprints. And that scares the heck out of me. Right. Okay. Well, let me play this. And like I said, it's nine and a half minutes. Let me make sure I got the volume up. Uh, while it's playing, I'm going to mute out. And I'm just gonna let the whole thing play, and then we can we can talk about it. And y'all, let me know if y'all cannot hear it. Is that Steve? no, Tony? This is Sebastian <sighs> Rogers' bio dad. He's actually been out looking for <laughs> Steven Sebastian. Steven Seagal. <laughs> uh, 
Father said no to sit was tracked anywhere. None. Yes, that is what it says. That would be. Okay. Do, do you know who's? Oh, you know who's? No, Steven go ahead. Segal is. You know who Stephen Seagal is, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I just enjoyed Tony's <laughs> <laughs> comment there. I like Stephen Seagal. Okay. Y'all let me know if y'all cannot hear it. It's been more than a month since your son went missing. How Can y'all hear that? Yes. Okay. How are you feeling today? Same as I was yesterday. Um, just continuing the search. Continue looking. I'm not going to give up. Nobody can make me give up. And where have you been searching? Where do you think he is? I've been searching everywhere. I mean, anything out of that, that five-mile radius that the initial search did, they covered everything there. But there's stuff elsewhere. I mean, we got a lot of territory to cover. And it being over a month, he could be anywhere currently. So I'm searching everywhere. You, Katie, and Chris had a meeting with TBI today. Did you find out any new information? Not that I can discuss. Any progression that might show hope in this search? Oh, I always have hope. Can't take that away from me. And how confident are you that Sebastian is alive? And what do you think he's doing right now? Uh, pretty sure he's probably playing video games somewhere. Nobody's letting him, you know, whoever's got him. They're not letting him see the regular news. They're not letting him surf the internet. Or else he'd know that I'm looking for him. And he'd know that he should actually be trying to get a hold of me. And that keeps me going. Is there a strong reason to believe he may have been a, a, abducted? I don't know if he's been abducted or if he's just, you know, over at a friend's house. Never know. But I'll know when I find him. I'll know exactly what has happened to him. And other news outlets were reporting that there were lights seen in the backyard that were caught on camera by a neighbor's video. Is that true? No. What that was was a trash truck went through, picked up trash, and when it left, of course, it went faster. It didn't have to stop to pick up trash. That's just false information provided by a particular person. Did the dogs ever pick up a scent for Sebastian? For my information that I've been given, no. Did they find anything on Sebastian's cell phone that would, you know, kind of show that he was going to run away or where he might be? Not that I know of. He didn't have any internet access or anything on there. He would have been able to call, text, take a picture, send a picture, use the calculator. That's about it. Uh, was Sebastian in school on Friday the day before he went missing? Yes, ma'am. Um, are you, Chris or Katie, or any of you suspects in this case? No, we're not. Uh, have you been cleared? I don't know. The investigation is still ongoing. We wouldn't be cleared until the investigation is done. But currently, from my understanding, they don't have any information that would attach us to any wrongdoing. Um, CPS has gone to Katie's house before... You didn't know about that until this investigation. How does that make you feel? That somebody somewhere dropped the ball because I was never informed. And I'm the biological father. I have joint legal, joint physical custody. Somebody dropped the ball and didn't reach out and inform the, the father, which is me. And I don't understand why the state dropped the ball on that one. And how did you find out about CPS? Podcast. And, I mean, how does that, does that concern you, especially with this case, that they might have done something to cause him to run away? I don't know what that really means, but I just know that I don't have all the information. Um, is there an official timeline? And I know people, you know, there was, you know, we went to bed at this hour, but does TBI or anyone have an official timeline as to the series? I'm pretty the sure they do, but. I'm not involved in the investigation, so I wouldn't have it. Have the three of you been in contact every day like you were several weeks ago about this? I was in contact with both Kitty and Chris today, but I've heard he said his phone is open and available. Well, so is mine. You uh, can leave a voicemail. Like seven or eight people have already left me voicemails today. 
I'm just, I'm going. You know, I get people calling me while I'm on the phone and it's like, I can't just sit there and answer the phone for everybody. If I did that, I probably wouldn't be able to get out of my house. There's been a lot of criticism over this investigation. I'm sure you've received criticism as well as the Proud Foots. How does that make you feel in a time where you're just trying to find your son? People are being, well, that those that goes back to those keyboard warriors I talked about on the first interview that you and I had. They're still at it. They'll never stop. There's cowards in this world. And then there's people who are go-getters. My beat, my feet, they're on the ground. They're never going to leave the ground. I'm going to find my son. Period. And plans, you know, today on moving forward, anything, any more resources being used on this investigation or anything you have to say about that? The United Cajun Navy is currently sitting down there right now at 90 Volunteer Drive in Hendersonville. 1030. That's when volunteers need to show up. 1030. Show up, have your ID, sign the paperwork, and they send people out in teams. When you show up, there ain't nobody there except for a couple people. That's because they've already sent teams out. They're just going to keep sending teams out until we find my son. Have there been um, a lot of volunteers coming out to help find Sebastian? Today there was, and I want to thank everybody who did come out. We are seeing an increase, and we're going to continue to see an increase. I'd like the whole state of Tennessee to volunteer, and then we'll hit other states. And you're Sebastian's father. Tell me, what is Sebastian like? He's a unique child, all right? He can be, he can, I mean, there's, it's really hard to describe my son. I mean, besides being unique, whether he's up to no good or he's up to good, he's still... He's just got that uniqueness about him. It's, it's it's really hard to describe. I mean, he's my mini me. If he if he has a goal, he's gonna accomplish that goal. You know, people at school, they liked him. All the kids are wanting to know when he's gonna come back. They want to help and volunteer. Teachers are wanting. They're putting out prayers every day. You know, everybody. It's coming up. It's Easter. I'm hoping for an Easter miracle, you know. I could definitely use it in my life right now. And why did they search the landfill? I have no idea. They didn't, not part of the investigation. They're not going to tell me stuff. I am emotionally attached, as any parent should be. And how often do you meet with TBI? If I, I call them all the time. Call, text. Hey, any new news? They either let me know or they let me know. Are and, you are you happy with the work that all these agencies have done or do you think there needs to be more? There could probably always be more. We just got to figure out what more is necessary. Am I happy with them? I'm not unhappy. But you asked me that after, after my son's back and it's going to be, I'm happy. <laughs> all right. Because... And in law enforcement, it's always goal oriented, you know, go to, go to work, put a smile on your face, get the job done. I know that they're putting their effort, 150% effort into this. And I appreciate that. And I'm hoping it will pay off with rotation. Do you think Katie and Chris are suspects? I have no idea. Sebastian's been missing for more than a month now. What keeps you getting up every morning, going out and searching for him? Being a dad, having perseverance, wanting him to come home, while wanting to watch him finish growing up. Do you wear this every day? Talk to me about this shirt. This right here is my own billboard to find my son. People notice people. People notice what people are wearing. So I am a walking handout. I have these in my car. Have you, how do you select that photo? It's so cute. Cause it's cute. <laughs> it's got a smile. It's the last picture I took of him.
Okay. That poor guy. So, it was put out, it was, was it yesterday, day before that, uh, that the Cajun Navy had a lift, was going on another case of a missing person. Uh, after they hadn't done any searches for Sebastian, but the dad just said right here in this interview that was done today that they are still there. So I'm wondering if there was some sort of confusion about, yeah, they did go on another case to help out, but it was a, a diff, it was the same United Cajun Navy, but a different group of people than what is here helping search for Sebastian. Scarlett, I, I, um, I got a couple of answers to that whole situation uh -huh. because I was very confused. Remember I had messaged you and I'm like, I guess one Cajun Navy is scamming and another one isn't. And I was so confused. And um, so what I found out is um, one YouTuber went up to them to search, but this particular YouTuber arrived in a cloud of marijuana and they turned that they turned him away. And they also <clears throat> made a post that one of, you know, the things that that would disqualify you from being a searcher is if you walk up smelling like a marijuana shop mm -hmm. and that youtuber got mad and put out a lot of false information okay and then i probably know which one you're talking about i'm just not gonna say any names yeah and then a second youtuber also had a um disagreement with them and basically did the same thing so really what it boils down to is um, it was just mad YouTubers putting out bad info. Okay. Because I've seen like a whole big thing about it. It was all over Twitter. I think it was on YouTube also. Yeah. Uh, you know, that they were leaving. Um, they they took these donations. They're, le they're packing up and they're leaving. They didn't do any searches for him. But mm -hmm. like I said, this, and that was like, like a, it, yesterday or or the day before that, hey, cool gamer, how are you? Um, whenever I saw it, and then this interview with the dad was done today after him, the mom, and the stepdad met with TBI, and mm -hmm. he's saying that they're still there. So yeah. who am I going to believe? I'm going to believe the dad. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? So, Well, I actually called because um, I was thinking that if I got home, you know, if we got back home, Mm -hmm. Like Nashville is just, you know, three and a half hours from here. Right. And some of my family members too were inquiring on searching. So I actually called law enforcement today mm -hmm. just to get clarification. And I spoke to a very nice lady at the, um, uh, I can't remember if it was the Henderson police department or if it was the, sheriff's department because I, I had to make several calls and but I finally got through and I had one really nice lady who just broke it down for me and she told me that they're there they've been there every day they've been searching but they're not disclosing where they're searching right for yeah. safety mm -hmm. right yeah and so she assured me that like if me or any of my family or anybody wants to come and she even gave me the address of where they're set up at mm -hmm. to, to come and register. But she broke it down for me and she told me it was just a couple of angry YouTubers. Right. And I think that's just so disheartening <clears throat> when it comes to looking for a missing child. Right. Cause I mean, if they're, if, if they're still out there, whether they've had bad dealings in the past, I, I've heard all kinds of stuff about this group. Mm -hmm. Um, and I've never like dug into them. I know that there are a few different Cajun Navy groups. I know that there was one that that was got a, a, a very bad rap. Uh, yeah, Betty Jo, hold on, let me grab it for you. Um, and I don't know if it's this one or the other one. I think it is this one, but like I said, I haven't dug into it. Um, 
But if they're, I don't know if, if it's they're searching, mm -hmm. that, that's a good thing. Yeah, I don't know if it's the one with the good reputation or the bad reputation. I don't know that, but I do know that they are there and they are searching and, you know, all of that stuff. Um, I wanted to say, too, I, I kind of picked up on something from the dad in that interview. I'm, mm -hmm. I don't know if you did or if Lady V did or chat, but the way he was talking about Sebastian might just be somewhere playing video games. Yeah. And yeah. Um, when the lady asked about abduction, he just kind of dismissed it. I, it makes me feel like they're thinking he ran away and he's yeah, hiding. Because the way he said it was that he could be at a friend's house playing a video game. And it was just like, it, and even, uh, who was it? Just on, just put this in chat. I think Ellie knows exactly what happened, but need more evidence. Yeah. Didn't, didn't he, okay, were, were his exact words like something like, more than likely he's someplace playing video games? I think he said he could be. Oh, well, I don't God, know. What was his think. exact words? I don't. Yeah. Let me, let me pull it back. Because it was the way he worded it that I was like, hmm. And see, he hasn't said anything like that before today's right. interview with TBI. Right. I gotta go back and find it. Betty Jo, how are you? Good. How are you? Hi, Betty Jo. Hello. Hi, Betty. Hello, Avery. Troublemaker. He, me? <laughs> just hey, messing. Me? I'm just messing. Look, I had Scarlett's chat so confused before the live. I was having a full blown conversation with myself from myself from a whole nother channel. <laughs> 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 and poor Scott is like, hi, Snow Paint. <laughs> hi, Curry <Grace> Husband. <laughs> I'm dying. Okay, so. And the dad had like a renewed calmness to him today. Wait, what happened? He he had like a like a renewed was, calmness to him yeah, today. Yeah, he was more like more calm. Than... Uh huh. He doesn't seem as anxious or crying. I mean, so, maybe they because I have heard. I don't know if this is true or not, uh, but I had read. I think on Twitter or, or maybe somebody had made a community post on YouTube about it, but that it, uh, it, and this was like a day or so ago that the parents are supposed to be meeting with law enforcement. They didn't specify TBI or, you know, which agency or whatever, um, but they were supposed to be meeting with law enforcement and that they were going to be shown a video. Now, I don't know if they were shown uh, a video or what, whenever they went in, but it kind of sounds like, because he says at first, like, you know, nothing that I can that I can talk about, which is understandable. They don't want that information out to the public when it's only for the parents. Um, but the way he he said it was whatever it was and then, or, you know, or he could be at a friend's house playing a video game. Um, but whoever has him is not letting him watch the news because then he would know that I'm looking for him and to get in touch with me. But if he was at a friend's playing video games, why would his friend stop him from watching? Right? I caught that, too. Yeah. The, yeah. The, the, yeah the, the, that's that's so why sad. I was wondering the way he said it exactly. Yeah, it makes me Because it sense. caught me funny, but... And Keith Scarlett said, unless the parents are hiding him, only a theory. I mean, could it be because, you know, they're, from what I understood also is that there was like a nasty custody type thing that was going on between the, the bio dad and the, and the mom. And, I did hear that. Yeah. You know, somebody said, well, what if the mom and the set dad having hit somewhere to keep him from moving in with the bio dad? Oh, so when so are they going to like hide him for the rest of his life until he's 18? Uh, yeah. That makes no sense. Wouldn't it be something to me? When I, mean, I, mean, it was I mean, it's a theory. I actually had thought of that myself, yeah. but then I'm thinking, but how long is that going to work? Yeah, because but wouldn't, eventually wouldn't it be you're going to go back to court. Right. But wouldn't it be something if, the, if it was the bio dad hiding him all along? I thought about that while I was uh -huh. watching this, this uh, well, it would be crazy. This interview. I would... Like, could it, 
could it be like, is it possible that it's the dad and he has like, because it would make sense. And I'm not saying that his dad has anything to do with this. It's just a, a thought that ran through my head. Oh, no, no, you know, no. he would, he would actually, he would go with the dad. He knows him, you know, that's right. his family. But also it seems like he would want to take his phone with him. Um, you know, because it, I know with my son, my son takes his phone everywhere. Okay. Like it's literally glued to his hand. Yeah. Um, and, and so I'm wondering if Sebastian is the same way with like, is that phone like his security blanket? That, like you know, safe haven. Yep. Right. Like he yeah, can play his games or, or whatever he does on it. What if the, if the, if the bio dad is, is, hot, is um, hiding him, but got second phones for both of them? I mean, it's it. Hey, there, okay, there has Anything's been cases. Possible. Yeah, there has been cases that that has happened, and then you know the parent goes out helping look for him, just like in this case, and then it turns out that that's a parent that uh, that that has him. And right. I'm not saying that the dad has done that. Right. Right. But and I haven't watched any of the other interviews with the bio dad, and y'all were saying he was very anxious in this and that. If that's the case then why isn't the mom more worried yeah, about exactly. it? Why I is she... I wouldn't say he was anxious, but he was upset. Like he was he... more, like, hostile, like, like mad about not being I, I the parents. The parents, yeah. yeah. Well, and he seems a little bit more forgiving of the step dad and mom in this uh interview too I mean, to me. yeah yeah because the last interview go ahead Betty Jo. the last interview when he was i guess sitting in his car or whatever mm -hmm. and he he said that he hasn't haven't heard anything from the mother or the stepfather and like yeah, what was, was it like two snarky. weeks and that's like two weeks it's mm -hmm. like okay so you haven't heard anything but today it's like you're in yeah, contact with each other. I, I think yeah, that was because of the meeting. I, I think the reason why is because the meeting that they had with TBI was it was with the bio dad, the mom, and the stepdad. And so right. I think that's what he meant when he said I was in contact with them today. I think that might have been what he meant is that they it's all had that today. meeting. Yeah. Like I haven't had contact with them in two weeks, but I did today. But And it was because right. of the meeting. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I think so too. And I'm pretty sure it was probably a face-to-face -face meeting. I would assume. I could be wrong. They might have done it over the phone uh, or a Zoom meeting or something like that. Uh, because I have also read that it's been confirmed that the mom and the stepdad are now out of town. That the stepdad said he was going back to work and that the mom said that she was going with him. Which makes absolutely no sense to me. Well, see, that's what I heard. I heard they moved out. And no, they didn't move. No, they no, just it, took. They just took the, the camper, camper and they left, so yeah. he could go to work, and she went with him. Well, she finally admitted well, at the still, end. But... She finally admitted at the end of Nancy Grace that one of the reasons she left is because they've been receiving death threats. Mm -hmm. Okay, but she your child is missing. Why would you leave in case he came back to the house? Yeah, I exactly. would leave. I wouldn't either. I would be I like, hey, either. if you want to go back to work, that's fine. You go ahead, but my son is missing. I'm staying right here in case he comes back home. Yeah. Because, you know, just, because, just because he has autism does not mean that he is directionally challenged. Exactly. He can right. very well, if he, he can, and I'm not saying that all autistic people are like that, but a, a lot of them, if they go somewhere, they can find their way back. Yeah. And well, so what happens if he does after all this time let's just say somebody has him and he gets away and he finds his way back home right mm -hmm. there's She's nobody there. there then right. what's he do he he probably uh gets scared gets confused mm -hmm. and he bolts and wanders off again yeah so the dad was saying last night on another channel he was on there for a couple hours that it's like a really mild 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 case of, of autism and he said that he was it's actually a recent diagnosis he was diagnosed with ADHD. Yeah. Mm -hmm. the mom had oh, said that in an interview at the very beginning she yeah. said that he had a was it a chromosome that he was missing 
when he was born, but the diagnosis of autism was recent. He had just yeah. What it. is it? Uh, Libra Moon said it earlier in, in the chat. It's a chroma a chromosomal deletion uh, syndrome or something like that. Right. Let me see if I can go back and find it. I yeah, think that's a, what it's called. A missing chromosome. My son has it, but he's only ADHD. He's not. Mm -hmm. He's not autistic. He's, you know. Yeah. He's just a hyper pain in my, you know what, <laughs> at 33 years old. <laughs> okay, thank you, Libra. She said that was it. So a chromosomal deletion syndrome is what it's called. Uh, the autism, the ADHD. So, I mean, no. on top of being away from home from all this time, <laughs> you know, if he if somebody does have him and he is able to get away from him, He's scared. Uh, most autistic people, when they're scared, they they bolt. Uh -huh. it, it's a flight thing for them. Uh, see, he has Sorry. fluid on one side. Yeah, I had seen that earlier, but that was the first time I'd ever heard of that, about the fluid. Yeah, huh, yeah I've never heard that until just now. Hmm. Okay, let me play this. Because I want to hear what he says now about the playing, like being at the friends possibly and playing the video game. And I put the uh, give the up. captions. Nobody can make me give up. And where have you been searching? Where do you think he is? I've been searching everywhere. I mean, anything out of that, that five mile radius that the initial search did, they covered everything there. But there's stuff elsewhere. I mean, we got a lot of territory to cover. And it being over a month, he could be anywhere currently. So I'm searching everywhere. You, Katie, and Chris had a meeting with TBI today. Did you find out any new information? Not that I can discuss. Any progression that might show hope in this search? Oh, I always have hope. Can't take that away from me. And how confident are you that Sebastian is alive? And what do you think he's doing right now? Uh -huh. Pretty sure he's probably playing video games somewhere. Nobody's letting See? him, you know, whoever's got him. Okay, Pretty so he's, sure he's playing video games somewhere. Yeah, somebody's got him. So nobody's letting him, you know, whoever's got him. They're not letting him see the regular news. They're not letting him surf the internet. Or else he'd know that I'm looking for him. And he'd know that he should actually be trying to get a hold of me. So do they know or, or think it is a very good possibility that he was lured away from the home and maybe was enticed with the video game? Or have they, has there been like, uh, you know, a, that, a name of his pop up online playing video games? I don't know, but his tone just completely changed today in that interview. He and he doesn't. I noticed he didn't say anything bad about the mom no. or the stepdad because he's been pretty snarky about them mm -hmm. up until this interview. I mean, I noticed like a big shift in him, so they must have found some sort of something because okay, so like the my, my youngest son has an Xbox and he plays online. They have a, a, a what is it called, a gamer tag or something like that. Uh, so whenever they sign in, the gamer tag is there. I wonder if they have found something. Yeah, I, it like almost that. sounds like it, doesn't it? Uh, or did he have one, did he have a gamer tag or, or a name that he used for any online gameplay that he did at home? I and now that know. name has popped up. I don't know. We at home, yeah, without being on the internet is what you're saying, right? Well, did he, have they said, like, I, I think they said he had a Nintendo Switch. Did he have any other Yeah, but his video mom game? said he had no way of getting online. It so was they all, like, right online there at all. the home. Right. I don't even think they let him online on his phone. Okay, yeah, I did hear the dad say that there was no internet on his phone. Huh. 
So if he might have had a gamer tag that he used maybe at home. I don't know how all that stuff works anymore. My kids are grown. I, I think you with that in years. I think you still have a gamer tag, whether you play online or not. But if the gamer tag has popped up online somewhere. Right. That's what I'm wondering. If maybe he had a gamer tag that he liked at home, that he used at home. And then somebody says, hey, you know, we can go online and play it. And that mm -hmm. name popped up is what I'm wondering. I'm wondering about that. Hmm. Somebody wants to say hi. Okay. Hi. Hi. Hi, baby. She's so cute. Okay. Are you happy now? Yeah. Okay. Aw. <laughs> we she love just, you, baby girl. She just wanted to say hi to us. Uh, just reading between the... Okay, so like, that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to, like, read between the lines. Is, is yeah. that what he's saying? That, like, they know that he is somewhere playing a video game but he just can't come out and say yeah we know that he's somewhere playing a video game because that would be like giving out information right to the people who have him right and there my understanding on the gofundme is that there is a gofundme for the dad for Seth, right yeah well, didn't his i see somebody in chat say that his sister had set one up for him and katie and chris were upset because there was one set up for him well, but, they mentioned that, okay, so what was said by Chris was that they had had a talk, three of them had had a talk, and they all agreed that they were not going to set up a GoFundMe, okay? Mm -hmm. And then the GoFundMe was set up by the sister for Seth, and Chris and uh, Katie were not very happy about that. Okay, well, first of all, he didn't set it up, his sister did. Second of all, he's away from home. He's down he's here searching working. for his, right, he's not working. He's searching for his child every single day. So what's the big deal if, if the sister set it up for him to help pay his bills while he's searching for his child? I don't see that it's a big deal, but. Uh, wait, well, my phone died. Can y'all believe, Avery, I believe it. Again. Don't surprise me. Avery's I'm going to start. <laughs> I'm going to set up a reminder to, to send to Avery every night before I go live to make sure like three hours before I go live to charge your phone. I think we need to take up a donation and find her a charging cable for her phone that's like 30 foot long. It needs to be glued to the back of her phone. It does. That way, no matter where she goes, she can just have it on that charger. That way it sticks 100% at all times. <laughs> I don't get that because, like, I have three, actually, I have four things here that I run when I'm doing this, and all four of them are plugged in, so I don't lose power. <laughs> See, I have two portable chargers and a 20-foot charger. Then what's the problem here? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> then plug it in, girl. Plug it in. That's it. I'm setting up a reminder. <laughs> So she doesn't forget. So she doesn't get knocked off panel. Oh, what will we do without Avery? Oh, I adore oh her. I adore Avery. She's so funny and cute and Fire sweet. Fire backup battery. I need something. <laughs> I have an article here. I'm just trying to see. It doesn't. It's literally like two paragraphs doesn't really say a whole lot but it did come out today let me zoom in on it just a little bit we all can see it okay all right so this one says cbi deputies hold meeting with sebastian rogers biological parents and i thought whenever i read that to begin with and it's saying biological parents it was just gonna be the bio dad and yeah, the, the mom and then chris is there I will sit next to a wall outlet one low. See, Sally May knows how to how to get it done. Just sit next to the to the plug in. I got mine right next to my bed. Yeah, I've got an extension cord that I can plug in like four different things to the end of it. 
and my phone and my vape battery charger and a heating Everything. pad is all charged. Yeah. yeah, it's all right there next to my bed. So um, I have something to say in Chris's defense, okay? Okay. My husband, if we were in this same situation, my husband would be right by my side, whether he's the bio father or not. He would be right by my side defending me, holding me up, mm -hmm. anything he would need to do for me. Like Riley said that. Right. Mm -hmm. And so, I don't know, Chris comes off brash and he comes off cocky and a whole lot of things, but, and I'm sus, I'm not going to say I'm not sus up, but at the same time when i think about how my husband would handle it i could see him being a little snarky about things too you know mm -hmm. because we don't know what we have no idea what what's going on with katie behind she could just like be completely i don't know sometimes i just shut down completely i just can't you know mm -hmm. And that's when I look at my husband and my husband takes over because I just can't. All right. So maybe he's just, along with all the accusations and everything that's being thrown at him, maybe that's why he's coming off the way he is. That's a good possibility. I know that when uh, Sally's snarky when tired, sorry. <laughs> yeah, Sally, you do get snarky when you're tired. Oh. Um, I seen a picture from it. I, I was going through something today on Google and there was a picture of, from one of the interviews that Chris and Katie did. Uh, and I was looking at, and I really like before haven't paid a whole lot of attention, you know, to, to their interviews. I haven't watched them. I'm not really paid attention to pictures or anything like that of them. And when I was sitting there looking at it, she has, well, you know, they were talking about her rocket when she was doing the interview. Um, and some people were saying that's her nervous. Some people were saying that's her. She knows she's guilty. Uh, some said fear. The way, and this is just my opinion, the way she looked in that picture versus the way Chris looked in the picture, to me, and just what I'm hearing about these different interviews, is that she's scared of Chris. You know, I I don't get that feeling. You don't think? I don't get that feeling. It's it's like I think it's kind of like what I was saying. Uh, I just can't. So right. he's going to take over, and he's going to be extremely defensive, or anything that he needs to be to protect me, or say what needs to be said. And. You know, my husband probably addressed some of these accusations at the same time, too. But I personally don't get that she's afraid of him. You don't think so? I don't think so. I and I, I, I could be wrong. It's just like, just looking at the picture, that's how I took it. Yeah, I, I don't think she is either. But she just, she has this, this. No, I think she's fear look on her face. To, no, I, I think she's fearful about what could be happening to her son. But I don't, I just, I don't get that. I don't, I don't see the fear of him. I think she's just like, looks at, at him and is just like, take over. I can't, I can't do and it. And it, it, it could be that. Did she talk a whole lot in these interviews? He answers most of the questions and stuff. Um, she's starting to talk more than she did, but it's, she said in one of the earlier interviews, you know, somebody asked her, she said, why, why aren't you the one speaking? And she said, I just sometimes, I just don't have the words that I'm, I just don't have the words. See, that's what makes me suspicious about both of them. I really need to go watch these. Because you really do interviews. now, now that we've gone this far, you really should. Be. Yeah. And, hey, and I switch and Betty Jo, I switch back and forth. It's like I'm sus, and then, but then I'm trying to think about it. Right. If they're not guilty of it, like you, you know, want to be trying to balance more. it, you know? 
Yeah. But you, you, you want to be upset for her because she is his mom. Uh, in the same time, if she's... It's like, it, it's just... Like, yeah, I get. I know it's a weird. I mean, because me personally, it really is. I, I'm not the type of person who gets up and speaks in front of people. Okay, like on here, it's different, but a crowd of people. Yeah, because nobody can see you. That's why. right. And but a, a crowd of people, I'm very shy with that. Yeah, I, I'm the same way with a crowd of people. But my if it's my child. Way. I could I, I could literally see myself front and center, holding yeah, the picture, telling exactly. about them, begging people to help, help yes. search here. Like I, you would I, hear me. Yeah, it, yeah. It, just, but Betty Joe, you and I aren't afraid to speak out no matter what. I mean, put well, no, me in a but, crowd of a hundred thousand people. If I got something but, to say, I'm gonna say it. You know. But so when would you? It comes to your child being missing or what you know abducted or whatever you want to call it you're going to make you're going to make noise you're going to make the whole world i see would that this child is missing you're not going to shy away from me you're not going to hide in your house oh because absolutely that just makes not you look suspicious Okay, um, Keith's called said dad did give me a weird feeling today i can't quite put my finger on it. i was typing back to her but i'm gonna say it because it's Easier to say it and type it all out. I was watching the dad's body language in that video that he did the interview, and now right. I've mm -hmm. I've never watched any. That's the first time I ever heard the man speak. So I, I can't compare it versus the other interviews that he's done. But well, you'll in, have to watch the other ones. But in this interview, I don't I don't want to say he's hiding something. But it seems like he is. But there's but some, it, yeah, there's something. It, well, it could be though the fact of what he was told about TBI today, and he can't talk about that. Well, and then so. he's and he's being asked about it, and, and we understand anything, right? right? And we understand why he can't tell what he was told. Uh, so I don't know if cause I'm, I'm kind of like King Scarlet, like it's, it's I can't put my finger on it, but I wonder if that's it. Like, hey, I know this. But I can't, I can't, I can't talk about it. And you're asking me these questions, but and I can't answer you. Right. right. I, I can't give you an answer, but I, I know the answer. I know something about well, it. Oh, I yeah. get, oh, I, I get that feeling completely. Well, like also who's to say they probably didn't tell them much because they're still investigating it. Mm -hmm. So they probably didn't really tell them a whole lot. They just told them what they needed to know. Possibility. And so, you know, what, maybe what he, they needed to know, he can't say anything about it. Well, like, right. he's in law enforcement, too. I mean, so. Yeah, he, he's a correctional He officer can probably something. read between the lines. Right. As well. It was, what got me, though, was when he was standing there and he kept, like, and, yeah, and I may be reading too much into this because this is the first interview I've watched <laughs> in this case, but him putting his hands on his head. And All the way the he kept like rubbing his over his head, it, it, to me it was like a nervous, and it could be just a nervous tick. Right. Um, but it, like I said, it could be something like that. He he knows he wants to tell it, but he knows that he can't, and that can't, that may right. be that may be what it is. But he did say that um, you know none of this have been cleared. You know, right. talking about, and he spoke very calmly about the mom and the stepdad. And I was, just, you know, I was looking for like, okay, well, when the mom and the stepdad gets brought up, like he's just going to blow up about it. And he spoke very calmly about them, and was like, no, we're none of us are suspects. Uh, you know, we're we haven't been cleared, but you know, none of us are suspects. And and just on that could be it too. It could be a self soothing thing. Uh, and. You know, so it, uh, there's a lot of people think that the stepdad and the mom have something to do with it. Scarlet. Definitely act weird. Right. Hey, Avery, are you back? Yeah, I'm back. Um, I was going to tell you, um, he has a shoulder injury that he, he's, he claims that he got while searching and, um, so that so, could be the reason why the arm right. is up above this. Okay. And yeah, I just seen that Libra had put that in the chat too. So that, that yeah. makes sense. 
Um, but but with with that said, I've watched. I think I've watched all his interviews, all pretty much all his his panels that he's been on. And today, he seemed like a totally different I agree. man. Mm-hmm. He just had a, a a calmness. All the other times, you know, he has like this urgency of of you know we got to find my son, and he cries and. You could I tell, agree. like, I noticed that. Yeah. like he, he would come off like really stressed, mm-hmm. but today was he was so different. Yeah, he was like more calmer. Yeah, because I seen the interviews. And yeah, it, I saw a lot too. The, the the one he did today, it's like he's totally different. It well, is. It's like maybe, it's a huge shift. Maybe yeah. they let them in on something um, that gave him more hope that. Sebastian is still alive. It's just that somebody has taken him, yeah, I mean, or lured well, him away, and we're getting close to to finding out where he's at and getting him back. Yeah, something. You never something give, I, sorry, Betty. You're all right. I mean, you never give up hope. So true. And he said that he was never going to give up hope, and I'm glad that he that he has said it and he's seeing that that way because, you know, after I mean a month, a month and three days, right. About to be a month and four days. Yeah, something something changed today for sure. Uh, something I've been wondering is <clears throat> his mom said that he didn't have any social media. But right. I know like on the Nintendo Switch, all you have to do is, is hook it to the Wi-Fi and you can interact and talk with people on a lot of those games. Yeah. My nephew has one. He he, well, he has his Xbox and that, but he he interacts on both of them. Yeah, and so the dad said that um, he would often play on his dad's account, and so I'm just wondering if that isn't maybe the login info he was and using. Don't, don't think mm. that that. Sebastian, just because it's not wrote down or it's not in front of him, a login for something that he won't right. remember it. Because exactly. I can promise you, people with autism, if they are, are a savant, they remember every single thing. Thing, exactly. Yeah. Everything, and it, they it's, can remember from way back when. Yes. Well, you said you you have to even make sure your son's not in the room when you type in your password. Oh yeah, because he can see where my fingers land on the keyboard, and he knows yeah. exactly what I typed in. Um, but they don't forget anything. Like, and so it would be that is something a login or a username or a gamer tag or whatever it is that Nintendo Switch has um, or any other gaming system that he has or his dad has, if he had to log into it, and it only takes one time for him to remember it. Exactly. That's all it takes. And if and it pops up, in. then they can get it. And, so I'm and wondering... Actually, he can log in anywhere, any game, any any game system he plays. Yeah, he can log the same in. same type of game system, exactly. he can log in on that game. So, yeah. I, I've been wondering because um, <clears throat> the parents. Okay, so the the biological dad said that Sebastian during the summer and stuff. If if he's not with his dad, he stays home alone while his mom and stepdad are at work. Mm-hmm. He takes care of himself. Yeah, so, I, it's been said that he's high functioning. Yeah, well, and so I'm so I'm, I've been wondering if. If he has been accessing the internet, whether it be through his dad's account or maybe he just oh. made an account. Whether, and yeah, they, whether they know it or not. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. the TBI got his devices. Maybe they have found some information where he was planning to run away. And they're just in the process of trying to track where he is. That's a good possibility. Yeah, very but, much so. I mean, that would be fantastic. Because that would it, mean he's, yeah, it would, he's yeah. alive. Because yeah. he's alive and he's, I, I, I as long as, you know, he's okay. I do too. I hope he's mm-hmm. wherever. And, and like the dad said, like he took the picture and that's the picture he used on the, the shirt because of his smile. And he's got like the cutest smile ever, y'all. Hey, Sandra. But, but I would also. Says she's got a switch and you have to have a username. 
and online because the swish has to update yeah um but i would want to know because have, i was, I was reading up about autism and and what i was reading is that um like in a situation like this if, it, if an autistic child does feel inclined to run to run away they it's will because, bolt. like it's because there's something stressful something um something that's trigger them yeah at home and for him to be gone for a month i would want to know what what the hell he ran from what's right. going on that made oh, him absolutely. do that absolutely yeah and that's where i would get into the mr chris thing hey laza uh, well not i will dad, not I can... chris mr chris yeah um more than likely, and you know, I'm praying that Sebastian has found a live and well. If if that is the case and he has found a live, um he will have to be taken to a doctor. You know, like we've seen other kids that's been found. They they have to go to the hospital and they have to be checked out. Um he will have to be talked to by investigators to find out what happened uh, because he is a minor but it's more than likely going to be a probably a psychologist or, or some a, a doctor like that uh that knows how to talk to him and in a way that that sebastian will communicate back with him right. now more than likely uh, they're not going to be able to do it without a parent or a guardian in there with him. So, depending on if the mo which more than likely will not be the stepdad, it's either going to yeah. be the mom or the dad. Yeah. Uh, depending on, I think which one goes in with him, how he's going to how he's going to answer. Because if something has happened at the mom's house, whether it's between him and the mom or him and the stepdad, versus how he's treated at his dad's house is going to reflect on how he acts if he has found a lot in, in absolutely in a question yep for sure that makes complete sense yeah um because if if it's his dad that goes in there and he knows that he's he's very calm with his dad and uh he knows that his dad is does not have that uh where he gets mad and screams and hollers and and whatever else is going on in his in his uh in his mom's house uh he could be very comfortable and he could be very calm and, and he'll he let could, everything out and yes and he will he mm -hmm. will spill everything that he has asked about um now it's if it's anything like my son and, and autistic people each one is different my son is going to only give you the answers to the question that you ask right okay like what color or, you know, is it sunny outside yes like that's that's all you're going to get he's not going to go into great detail with it yeah. uh i don't know sebastian's that way i don't know his story of, of you know how he is with his autism or anything like that but it's a possibility that it could go down that way if his mom is in there he may not say anything against his mom or his stepdad or, or tell what is actually happening in the really? house because he doesn't want to get in trouble. He doesn't right, right. want that, that reaction from them to reflect if he, you know, especially if he knows or thinks that he's going back to their house. Right. But I'm kind of wondering because <clears throat> I've heard the mom, the stepdad and the dad, I've heard them all say that Sebastian is supposed to go live with, with the dad Seth, with Seth. at the, with Seth at the end of the after school's over. I heard that too. And so I'm kind of wondering if he were having problems at his mom's house, why would he run away knowing in just a couple months he's going to be at his dad's? Could it be that he's upset about going to his dad's? And that, you know, like, I don't know. I've just been questioning hmm. everything. You, you, you question everything because. You yeah. don't know. Yeah. That's all we can do is just ask questions and, and theorize because we really don't know. Right. And it sucks because we want to know that he's alive and okay. Yeah. 
I hey, hope they, I hope they find him alive and he spills everything. I do too. Okay, let me get this article read real quick, Kelsey, and get it off my screen up here. All right, so like I said, it does say that uh, TBI and deputies hold meeting with Sebastian Rogers' biological parents. Like I said, I thought whenever it said that, uh, that it was just the bio dad and the bio mom and um, stepdad wouldn't be involved, but apparently so. Uh, the Tennessee Bureau of Investigations and investigators with the Sumner County Sheriff's Office held a meeting with the biological parents of Sebastian Rogers on Thursday. Sumner County Sheriff Sonny Weatherford confirmed to WSMV4 that the meeting occurred but did not reveal any details on why the meeting happened or who was the lead during the meeting. So basically the same thing that the dad told us. We had the meeting, but we can't tell you why. Um, Rogers, who is 15, 15 years old and has autism, has been missing since February 26. On March the 8th, authorities searched a Kentucky landfill for evidence related to Sebastian's appearance but no leaves or evidence pertaining to Rogers' whereabouts were discovered during the operation. The decision to search the landfill was made in accordance with ongoing investigative efforts and information gathered in the search for Rogers, the Sumner County Sheriff's Office has said. An Amber Alert was issued on the behalf of Sebastian, and the TBI has said that there is nothing that points to foul play in Sebastian's disappearance, but also that nothing has ruled out foul play. So it's like they're stuck in the middle of is it foul play or is it not? Because there's no proof that there is, but there's no proof that there's not. Right. Uh, did you guys what? Um, Liza, are you talking about the one that came out today? If so, yes, we watched it just a few minutes ago. Uh, okay, so King Scarlet, that might be how they do his in. That they may do it like that in Tennessee also with doing an interview uh, without the parents in there, but they, they record it. So I don't know it, if, you know, they are. I think to, if they suspect that the parents are involved at all, they might not. They're let going to be able to talk to him alone. They, he, they might have like a, uh, what do you call it? A, a person uh, to be in there with him. The one an adult to be in there with them, right? Yeah. That way, he's they don't have to worry about his parents on either side hearing right. anything that he has to say. Um, angry. because who knows? It could be like all three. Maybe he's just like done with all three, and if they're fighting or whatever, I'm not saying that I've heard that, but if they are, if it's contentious or whatever, he might just. Be like done with all of them, you know. Yeah. Could be. Yeah, I mean, Scarlet. Um, do you still have the information that you were talking about earlier about their divorce? Oh, I didn't download it. Um, but I read. I, oh, it was in one of the Facebook groups. Let me go find it. Okay, and, and well, then I can. Just Dawn was asking about it, so I told her to send you a message on Discord. Oh, um, okay. um, so if she sends you a message on there, that's what it's about. Cause she was, she was going okay. to know about it. So, yeah, I didn't download it. I just read it from the group, the okay. divorce papers. Okay. Well then that cool. way, if she messaged you, you can let her know what group or, or whatever. So I should say divorce book cause it's long. Uh, let's see. It's probably interesting too. You'll have to send me a message and let me know where you read it. Cause I'm going to sit back y'all tomorrow and got nothing to do. Um, so I think tomorrow during the day, I am going to watch all of the interviews with the, the bio dad and the interviews with the mom and the stepdad. Are you going to be talking about Riley any tonight or is this just Sebastian? Uh, no, I am going to touch on what I have heard about Riley. Um, okay. I did want to talk about that too. <clears throat> Um, and, and how he was found and don't say no water in the lungs and, and stuff like that. Okay. Um, There's a real it. good um, segment that came out tonight. Well, this evening with um, Brian and, um, and uh, oh gosh, what is that doctor's name? He's from Alabama. Um, uh, I know that there was an interview with Joseph, Joseph Scott Moore, uh, Morgan. Yeah. And uh, there was another lady that was on there with him. 
as yep. well. I don't know what her name is, but yeah. uh, Joseph Scott Martin is from here. Not yeah, he's from me. He's really good. Um, and, um, she is also a medical examiner. I think they were they were both Emmys. Yeah, I think you're right. Mm -hmm. It was interesting. It was very okay. interesting. And I actually think I was I remember seeing it and I was gonna put it back. So to play it tonight and then I found the interview with Sebastian's dad and mm -hmm. I didn't save that one but I think it's on Twitter I think Brian didn't put it on Twitter but yeah that's because I know once that came out that there was no water in his lung uh, in his lungs people were like okay well he must have been deceased before he went in the water you know all this and that and everybody's coming out with the dry drowning thing and so are we we'll talking just, about that now uh, I'm gonna I'm, I'm go to that in just a second. Okay. Uh, okay, Libra Moon said, Avery, I sent you a DM. I want the divorce papers too. <laughs> yeah, I want them too. Oh my. I was going to DM. Wants, but... Wait, I have. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to need 25 cents from each of y'all for my hard work. <laughs> um, if you want to, just put it in. Sebastian's channel on Discord, and okay. then everybody can just go there. See yeah. how you want me to be all organized and everything? You want me? Well, I, it would be easier to do it like that instead <laughs> of having to send it to everybody. I think. I'm just, I'm just giving you a hard time. And then that way, everybody, wherever you say it's at, everybody can just go, go from there. Probably then we only need to pay you one twenty-five cents. <laughs> hey, mine's free. <laughs> I don't even think there's anything that you can buy with a quarter. What can you buy with a quarter? There's nothing. A gumball. Yeah, that's about oh. it. Yeah, but it's probably stale and been in the gumball machine for ages. <laughs> yep. But you, you get to buy for it. a quarter. But but you get to watch it spin down those those that's tubes right. all the way to the bottom. I I really enjoy that. <laughs> <laughs> of course you do, Avery. <laughs> Good. I'm not even touching that one. <laughs> I'm not either. <laughs> okay. All right. So King Scarlet says dry drowning is so uncommon, two percent chance. It's yeah, but it's not impossible. impossible. Yeah. No, so, it's not possible. but I have other questions. What they were saying about like the the spasm in the throat. Mm -hmm. um, Jaden's dad's sister. She. We were all at the river. And she got caught in a current and it was like a, like the current came out of nowhere and it was pulling her and it was pulling her under. There was literally nothing we could do. We couldn't get to her. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she kept going underwater, going underwater. Well, and by the time they were able to finally get her and get her out, you know, she was, she was already gone. We were so shocked, so shocked to learn that there was no water in her lungs and they told us that she had one of those um, spasms in her throat and mm -hmm. and so it was a dry drowning because I, I remember being so confused I argued telling Jaden's dad no a dry drowning happens hours after they get water in their lungs that they're they're lying they don't know what they're talking about and I argued it and argued it, but come to find out, that's exactly what it was. Yes, uh, a lot of people I've seen seen them say that, uh, you know, it reminds them of Hallie Rodney, and it does me too, just based off of what we saw, you know, with her autopsy report. Mm -hmm. But the reason why I think that there's foul play in Kylie's case is because of where she was at in the car when they found her. Yep. That's why I will always believe that she was deceased before she went into the water and somebody yeah, put her me there as well yeah exactly uh, now Riley's case I will say in y'all heard me I think Big Al's been up here talking about the currents and rivers I live close to the river it's huge down this way the Red River is the current is very swift uh, and so I can see and, and I've seen this argument too where he had boots on and some people are screaming it's very hard to take boots off not every pair of boots that you that you that is out there it's hard to put on or take off mine literally slips on and off 
uh, and, and so it could have been that that type of boot. He could have tried to take the boots off and the pants off because that is what you know. It's been yeah, said that he's that you're under, to do. his underwear and socks too. Do you, but did they say that he didn't have those on as well? They said the he only had, thing he had the oh. watch and the shirt. That's okay. It. Well, then I would say the current. But, well, okay, one. so if it's strong enough to pull the boots off, I mean, because I, like I've told you before, I mean, I used to run barrels and stuff, wore, mm -hmm. wore boots and everything, and the, mine were not easy to get off. But um, if it's strong enough to pull those boots off, wouldn't it be strong enough to pull that shirt off too? I mean, what about the pants? I mean, okay, walk. here's the, okay, here's the thing. I was watching another creator and she had talked to the family representative and asked if he went commando and he said no he did not go commando so his boxers or briefs are missing as well okay. it's the socks that's what gets me even the medical examiner that that was on brian Enton said that if his socks were off they'd have a lot of questions yeah, but I mean, we don't even know if he wore socks with them. Well, I don't think he went barefoot in those Justin boots. Yeah, I mean, I wearing... wouldn't. I wouldn't. I mean, um, technically, sometimes. Okay, thank you, Sally Mae. But my grandkids do it all the time. I, I mean, I do it. If I just need to run outside for something, I'd literally slip my boots on without whether I've got socks or on or not. But yeah, that's but just, I don't. Yeah, I don't want to go. If I leave the house and I wear boots, I have socks on. But my boots, I have Ariads. Very easy to slip on and off. Uh, I don't know what kind of boots he had. I don't know. Okay. Um, and his pants were from Buckle. So they could be okay. loose. Yeah, they're probably the loose fit. He probably, if he got his pants at Buckle, I guarantee you, he had a Buckle um, belt. A buckle brand belt. And that, could, that one there is what gets me. What about the belt? If you wear the buckle pants, you always the you always wear the buckle belt. I mean, that's just like how it goes. Mm -hmm. If you can even afford buckle to begin with. <laughs> yeah, because they're very expensive. They're like Miss B jeans. Yeah. Super expensive. Yes, I know. Um, but you also got to think, depending on how he was in the current. If the current is rushing into his boots, yeah, it, it could it could pull his boots off. If he both was, of them, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, y'all. What river was it? Uh, the Cumberland River. So what feeds into that? Oh, I would have to go back. Missouri, to, Mississippi. Do well, we see, know? they were saying something about. Let me go to Google. The, the Corps of Engineers needs to find out when the dam was opened because that was that makes it worse. It makes, makes the current, current swift. very yes. strong. Yep, it will. Uh, okay, let me go up to Nashville on here. Um, but you got to think about that. How was his was, was he was the current rushing into his boots that could have pulled him off? Uh, was sure. was he down by the river to use the restroom real quick in his belt and pants were undone when he fell in. Uh, if so, it would be very easy for the current to pull his pants off. If his well, pants, were loose, about that. If his pants were loose at all around his waist, the water rushing into his pants it could pull his pants down and off of him. Uh, if the boots are very hard to get off, if the water is rushing hard enough, it could pull the socks off with the boots. I had not thought about that. If he had his, you're right. If he had his pants unbuckled and stuff mm -hmm. to go to the bathroom and fell that in. That changes everything. That would make a lot of sense. But even if they're even like my youngest son, he's very, he's very skinny. Uh, he has to wear a belt with his pants. But even though he wears a belt, they're still a little bit loose in his waist. That could, if it's loose enough that it can pull it down over your, your behind, it's going to, it's going to pull it off of your body the the water y'all don't if y'all never been in a river with a current y'all you don't I understand have. how swift it is it is yeah, I it, have. It, if you can literally sit in a river in your boat cut your motor off and just sit there and you will be down the river the current will carry mm -hmm. you and you will be down the river before you know it within yeah, minutes I've, you're down the river 
Yeah, I've been there. I I didn't think about going to the bathroom. Um, his shirt, I could see why it wouldn't be ripped off of him because if the water is rushing and hitting his shoulders, then it's hold. Then his shoulders are holding the shirt on. Right. Yeah. You it's see what I'm saying? Down. Yeah, it's pushing down on it. Yes, it could very easily go through the collar of his shirt over his body and pop the buttons and and, and take it off. But rushing through the pants and the boots, I could very easily see it coming off. But then again, his parents did get a second autopsy. Yep. Mm -hmm. I don't blame them. I'm glad that they did yep, uh, because you, you always want to be sure, you know, you, you never want to have something like this happen to your child, have one autopsy done. They say there's no foul play and you think that there might be, and you don't have that second one done. And you always wonder, could there have been something more to it? Yeah. So I'm glad that they did. Hey, the expert, how are you? Um, and so uh -oh. it uh -oh. could be expert. Hey, expert. This second autopsy could reveal something more than what the original autopsy did. Now, we won't know the whole autopsy report because it's going to take weeks for either one of them to come out and the toxicology and yeah. all this and that. Um, so it's going to be very interesting to see if the two autopsy reports say the same thing. Yep. They were able to get a good amount of visceral fluid from his eyeball, so... They okay. should get a pretty good toxicology report, you know, because you because considering he was in that water for two weeks, right? You, you know, you worry, but she said that, um, you know, the eyeballs and stuff were were intact. They Which were is, able. Yeah, it's very good news. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. Let me see. And the his funeral's tomorrow. I'm trying to see. Might help if I went south instead of north of the river. I'm trying to see what it runs into. Wait, did I lose it? Oh, Jesus, y'all, hold on. Y'all for sure don't want me to pull the map up today and let y'all watch it while I'm squirming all over the map. Y'all look make it sick. Dizzy? <laughs> Isn't it the Tennessee River? Uh, hold on. Okay, so Cumberland river and then it says lake barkley hold on oh wait 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 where jesus where does this river go to uh okay and it goes into the ohio river ohio ohio river. but what feeds into it let's see lady B. it goes oh, out it goes out into the Ohio, but what river feeds into it? She would do that to me, y'all. Now I gotta go all the way back to the <laughs> other east. Okay. Sorry. Um, to me, right. that that's the important one there. To me, yeah, is which one runs? Okay, so let's see. This is still the river. This thing has got so many turns, y'all. Hey, I don't have my glasses on. Can you guys tell me, does my profile picture look like I'm smelling shit? No, no. it's fine. It must be my eyes. Okay. No, yeah, the picture's fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. it, it looks like you're like, have a smirk on your face, but. Yeah. Like, that, that you're selling some shit, green. but. I think I'm going to get my glasses. Shit eating grin, but yeah. not. But that's yeah. a good picture, though. It is a good picture. I don't know. It kind of looks like Nancy Grace. You know how Nancy Grace always looks like oh, she's smelling Lord. something bad? Just leave that's it. that's because she's smelling all the crap that people's trying to feed her. That's what yeah. that is. Okay. I don't know, but this Cumberland River, y'all, is like long. I'm still searching for what runs into it. Ah, wait. Okay. No, that's still the Cumberland River. Jesus. Okay, so that is like a bunch of little. Lady V, I, I, at this I'm point, sorry, I'm just gonna. Say, I, no, it's it's good. At this point, I just want to say the Atlantic Ocean. Okay, <laughs> that's a pretty big current then. Okay, because there is a Rock Castle River that runs into it. Uh, let's see. There. What the hell? What state am I even in right now? 
Oh, if it's that far away from it, then that's not going to matter. Oh, I'm like way up in Kentucky right now following this thing. <laughs> yeah, if it's that far away, it's not going to matter. And I don't know how many dams it has on it. I'm pretty sure it has a lot of them just to control the current. But even with the dams and just the gates, even one or two gates open, the current is still going to be strong. And if it, the gates are fully open, like if they've had a lot of rain up above them and it is running, the expert have a good night. Um, good and night. it's, and it's, you know, all the, the water well, from the north is running into it. It's going to be it's super strong. And if, and if we think about the weather that we've had since he went missing, I mean, we've had crazy weather. So, yeah. I right. Mean, Okay, I got the answer for you. It originates in the Appalachian Mountains, and then it goes through several other rivers and comes down into the Cumberland River and then goes into the Mississippi River, the Tennessee Mississippi. River, and into the Ohio River. Have y'all saw how big uh, the Mississippi is? Yeah, Mississippi is huge. Mm hmm it's like it's like bigger than the Red River. Just don't ask me where it is because I I'm directionally challenged. So well, and I know it along, goes, goes along. from the Gulf up the Mississippi Louisiana state line. After that, I don't I couldn't tell you. I just know it. There's a whole bunch of other little rivers too between the Appalachian and Cumberland, like um, Stone River, and a whole bunch of other little tributaries that also join it into it. Okay, the expert said there is no tributaries that I, you know, I got to get my glasses now into the Cumberland. There is two. Don't you argue with me, expert? I just Googled it. Did you, did you read his name, Avery? What's his name? The expert. Oh, I know. Oh, sh but I, I'm not intimidated by that. Google is always correct. Yeah. Is it though? Well, according, Google, I, Google, according to my son, it's all it's it, Google is never wrong. Google mm -hmm. took me to a geography type website that looked pretty official. <laughs> I can ask Siri and she'll tell me. Okay, wait. Y'all heard y'all y'all listen to how she said geography. <laughs> geography. And it looked pretty official. <laughs> Yes. That's what like, that's what Google took her to. <laughs> the Google never wrong. Said, no major rivers. Okay, the expert, you and me, we're gonna fight. We're gonna fight. Okay, well we've got the expert on it and we've got Google, so we have to compromise and meet in the middle, I guess. Okay, the expert, I dare you to check and search and see if Stone River doesn't go in to the Cumberland River. But you and know he, he lives up there, right? In that area. Well then, and he owes me 10 bucks when he finds out I'm right. <laughs> he said, I could be wrong, but I don't know of any. Ah, <sighs> man. Tell him Google it. <laughs> Google it. Google's always right. Google. What was I looking for on? Oh, I was looking for his nation. Oh, no, no. Hold on, y'all. Wait, Sally made them send it to me. I watched the expert drive. He gets lost between his front door and his car. <laughs> Robert. I saw that he was live today, or was it yesterday, and I missed it. I didn't get to watch it. Okay, uh, let's see. Tennessee Body Farm expert questions the state of Raleigh Strait when he was found. Is this the one that has, no, this is just a news thing. Okay, where is the one that has uh, with Joseph Scott Morgan and Brian? And hey, Robert, how oh, are you? Wait, I just got to add the Stones River, the uh -huh. tributary that joins the Cumberland, it joins it within Nashville city limits. The expert. Oh, huh? mm -hmm. well, I didn't look at all that. Huh? Let's just that take is a moment. interesting. I was just asked where it runs into and what runs into it. So then I had to go on a scavenger hunt to find each end of the river. 
sorry. <laughs> I found one end of it, and like I said, the other end, I'm just going to go with the Atlantic Ocean. Dang it, lady. Yeah. Bean, see what you did. Way, way out there. <laughs> I'm good with flows and all of that. I'm just a directionally not. Yeah. Oh, I, I can, can navigate. I can navigate really well, but I'm <laughs> not. Yeah. I can navigate when my car tells me which way I'm going. <laughs> so No, I, was, I can navigate with a real map. I just don't ask me to drive it. I just can't. I can't hey, even hey, open the real map. Yo, I can get you anywhere and don't even need a map. Oh, good. That's oh, my hey. heavy. Like, <laughs> literally. You just got to know where your cities are at. And you got to know which direction they are. And once you get to that city, there's always going to be a sign on the interstate that tells you which way to go to go to the next city to get to the Dude, city that I've you're been going in to. places. I've been in places in my own city where I've gone and I had to use GPS to find my way back home. I know that I've ended up in the ghetto multiple times. Me. <laughs> well, I will say except for Dallas. I refuse to drive in Dallas. I wouldn't drive in Dallas. I hate Dallas. And when you're in a panic in a hurry and you tell your GPS, get me out of the ghetto ASAP, it doesn't understand you. No, I just say, I just say, Siri, home, and it shows me home. Oh, well, aren't you bougie? Wait, what is it, Betty Jo? I said, did you hear about the bridge? Oh, yeah, the one that that the cargo ship ran into? Yeah, 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 I watched it. I watched several different videos of different angles of it. Mm -hmm. Uh, It's terrible. And there was actually workers on the bridge when it happened. Yeah, mm. I was. I've been over that bridge so many times. So sad, and that they found uh, there was a truck that had was it two people in it that was hung up under the water. Yeah, they found they them. Yeah. Okay, so I counted it out. Okay, from the time that ship hit that pylon or whatever you want to call it, uh-huh. it was fifth. 15 seconds or less right between like 13 15 seconds and everything was already in the water something's wrong with that well they need to make a bridge better than that right yeah because i I was watching the ship lost power yeah two different times right they made (laughs) date the first time they made date and said they lost power can i um answer here the ship can I answer somebody in chat real quick? Yeah. Max Smith. Yes, I know that the expert is a lawyer. I'm subbed to his channel. I watch him and I'm picking on him. He picks on all of us too. Uh, he, okay, so he was going to go to bed, but he's like, wait, the body farm is also. <laughs> yeah, the body farm. Is, is I did like the body too. farm. Okay. Let me make sure everything. But did you guys hear that about the body farm is also questioning about Riley's body? Wait, that's what it's in this video I'm about to play, right? Oh, I, 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 I haven't watched this one. It says Tennessee body farm. <clears throat> excuse me, expert. It questions the state of Riley's strain mm-hmm. when he was failed. Oh yeah. Right. Okay. 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 So this is the one that Sally makes it to me, but I still got to find the one that. Um, uh, Brian Inton and Joseph Scott Morgan was in because oh, I want to watch on, that one too. It's on News Nation. Okay, well, I tried to find it. That's what I was looking for on News Nation. <laughs> I couldn't find it, but I'll have to go back through the videos. Oh, I'll find it for you. Okay. Just if you can find it for me, just throw it in back chat if it doesn't knock you off or okay. uh, in Discord, either one, whichever one doesn't knock you off the panel. Uh, St. Michael Sword, how are you? Okay, so let me play this. Y'all let me know if y'all can't play it. I'm hoping, I mean, if y'all can't hear it, I'm hoping the way I've got it, y'all be able to. There are no signs of foul play. Can y'all hear that? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. At this time, according to the examination here at the uh, Riverbank. The question of what exactly happened to Riley Strain still remains unanswered six days after the 21-year-old's body was pulled from the Cumberland River. Thanks for joining us, everyone, here on News Channel 5 Plus and streaming tonight. I'm Rory Johnston.
And I'm Carrie Sharp. The family has ordered a second autopsy as we are still waiting for the final report. But a new detail led us to a world-renowned expert on body decomposition right here in Tennessee. Nick Barris has the story. A friend of Riley Strain's family says that they ordered a second autopsy, which reached the same basic conclusions as Metro's. But he says the Strain family also has questions about the condition of Riley's body when it was pulled from the river. A dock worker spotted the body downriver from downtown Nashville where Riley was last seen. Police Chief John Drake confirmed the identity. Mr. Strain still had the shirt on that he was wearing, uh, so he had to watch. But News Channel 5 has learned Riley's body was found without his jeans or cowboy boots. Riley certainly was fully clothed in the security video the night he disappeared. But when he was pulled from the river two weeks later, from the waist down, only his boxer shorts and socks remained. It is unusual. Normally, if you fall in the river, um, it's Wait, very difficult Scarlett? to get your pants off. Scarlett? Doc yes. Could you run that back like about 20 seconds? Okay, because they just said that he had his boxers and his socks Boxer still on. Yeah. So which is it? All right, let me see if I got it back more now. Boxer shorts and socks remained. For two Only, weeks later, from the waist on, down. Did they just say? Go ahead. I'm just trying to hear all of what they said because Chris had said that it was only the shirt and his watch. And these guys were saying the only thing he had on was his boxer shorts and his socks. Is that what they just said? They no, said they said his box, boxer it, shorts and socks. And his shirt and his watch. Yes. Yeah. That's a big difference. Okay. Yeah, so that's a huge difference. All right, let me, I, I think I've backed it up for enough. If not, I'll go back a little bit further. He was pulled from the river two weeks later. From the waist down, only his boxer shorts and socks remained. Okay, so from the waist down, only his boxer shorts and, and so, socks remained. But, that, but that's not what the family said at all. They said the only thing that he had on him was his shirt and his watch, period. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so somebody's not being truthful. Some, yes. I mean, I would believe the family. Yeah, I would I too. I would believe the news. Yeah, because the news, it's very easy for them to get something uh, mixed up or just put out wrong information altogether. So I would believe the family. Uh, yeah, me too. That's why I'm like. Over, over the news. Okay, let's, let's finish it. It is unusual. Normally, if you fall in the river, um, it's very difficult to get your pants off. Dr. Bill Bass, now retired, is the founder of the University of Tennessee's famed Body Farm and one of the foremost experts on body decomposition in the world. We asked him about the missing pants and boots. Dr. Bass says it's possible, but unlikely, they just came off in the river current. No, they would not come off by themselves. Dr. Bass says debris could have snagged the clothing or... Oh, I, I would say that somebody took them off. If you do research on this, which is very difficult because you got to kill a person to do it, but it's difficult to get your pants off. It's difficult when you're alive to get your pants off. We did speak with Riley's stepdad, Chris, who says he does not right now want to comment on the friend's interview because the family is preparing for Riley's funeral on Friday. But he did say that they will have, quote, big things to share, unquote, next week. Nick Barris, News Channel 5. Okay, so that's interesting. He doesn't think that the pants came off in the river. Right. That somebody had taken them mm -hmm. off. But okay, so they haven't found the pants. And if they were from Buckle, and let's just say somebody took them off and their pants from Buckle, they would be very easy to notice if someone like in the homeless community was wearing them. Right. 
Okay, and my way of thinking, either it's like you said, you know, he had, for whatever reason that, you know, he had his pants pulled down or whatever, fell in and all of that, okay? Mm -hmm. Or somebody took him, took it off before he went in there. As intoxicated as this young man seemed when he was walking, I can't see him being of the presence of mind to try to take those pants off and accomplish it once he fell in the water. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, there's no way. Or boots. No, he'd have, he, he'd have used the bathroom on himself before he would have ever got. Hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm doing something real quick. I'm trying to grab a link. I'm trying to actually, dang it, chase it down in the chat. Okay. <laughs> Experts like pants or prison. <laughs> uh, what is her? Okay, I can't keep up with all of Avery's uh, channel names. I'm trying to grab her link to post it <laughs> in the chat, and I had to go back and look and see which one it was. <laughs> All right, so I did just post Avery's new uh, new channel link in the chat. If you are not subbed up, go sub up to her. And she'll probably change the name next week. Well, I think this one is a new channel, I believe. It's hey, a LC. brand new channel, yeah. I'm... Yeah, it is. Okay, I'm so she only saying. has she only has two. Ch Wait, Avery, I did get the right one, right? I did the Great Evidence podcast. Yeah, that's the right yeah. one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I was just making sure. If not, it would have been the, what is it, do DIY? DIY uh, spilled paint. Yeah, something like that. Okay. Where'd Avery go? Uh, she threw herself off the panel. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not a complete night unless she throws herself off the panel at least once. Oh, and I know. I mean. uh, so Robert says, and coincidentally, his shirt is on, and the alleged guy wearing a shirt similar is not to be found. That is true, because it was out there, you know, that it, it very well could have been a shirt like his, like what, uh, what Riley had on. But it was. The way I understood it, it was being put out as a fact that that was his shirt yeah. that, you know, this, this homeless guy had on. Uh, she threw herself off of her own about three to four times earlier. <laughs> I did. Miss Scarlett. I did. Miss yes. Scarlett, I just started a new resin channel, which I just dropped it in DM. Which oh, my God, Lady me. I cannot keep up with all your channels. <laughs> I can't keep up with all your channels. I'm not even sub to this channel. No, I just did it heck? today. Okay. I tell yesterday. you, Scarlett, when you leave us alone, shit goes haywire. We yeah, make, we I make know. Yeah, we just like <clears throat> and everything. Yeah, I, I know. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna. Have to damn it! You leave it. us to our own devices, and we just like come up with crazy. They go haywire. We need supervision at all times. I believe it. Honestly. Speak for yourself. <laughs> I don't need supervision. <laughs> Sally Mae said people be acting up. Sally Mae, you sure you ain't been acting up in there too? Oh, um, let me tell you about Sally Mae now. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I don't know. I always have to tell Sally Mae to keep an eye on all y'all. <laughs> Shoot. Hello, she, everybody. She'd she be rallying us up. She be telling us, "Help me bribe Scarlet." Oh, I know. I see the the uh, the Red Bulls and the gummy bears in <laughs> in Discord. I seen some some about some what was it? Something else. And she told somebody to be there with snacks or something because that's when the bribing was gonna uh, was gonna sort. Oh, now the other night, I have to admit, this was funny. So Sally Mae tried to call herself getting mad, and she says, "I'm." out 
and so 30 minutes there. 30 minutes later here she is just back in there chatting with mm -hmm. us <laughs> she wasn't really out she was just lurking <laughs> she likes uh, to lurk oh She's yes fun. and the crawfish i forgot about the crawfish that they were throwing in, in discord with the bravid I still can't figure out how you eat a crawfish. <laughs> like you don't know how to eat them, or you just don't understand how why people like them. I don't know how. I've heard something about you pop the eyes off and then suck it out. No, no, yeah. no! You pull the tail off and peel the tail and eat the tail. Oh, so well. What about the eyeballs? The eye you don't. You, they, you, you don't, don't eat the eyeballs. <laughs> Good Lord, Avery. I, I should, y'all. Are should you know. from the south? I, I'm, no, I I'm now questioning if she's from the south or not. I should have let her run with that and then go to a crawfish bowl with her and watched her eat a crawfish. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> Lord. I, I only live in the south. I'm not from the south. I don't claim it. Sort of. It's, sort of. It's the tail selling me. T A I L. So, but how do you know where you stop and don't actually. You, okay, you so you just like. Head. Okay. Think of crawfish like shrimp, okay? Yeah, it's basically the, the same thing. You just eat the tail. Yep. Yeah, that's it. You just pull the tail off, and then you peel the tail, and then you eat the tail. So what do you, but what about the head and the eyeballs? What's you the don't. Problem? You pull no, them you off. Yeah, you Why don't, you, you don't eat them. The, the head is nothing but a shell. Because eyeballs are freaky. Betty Jo, you ever been in a buffet and you walk by and there's yeah. like 50 eyeballs staring at I don't you do seafood, so. i love seafood it's very confusing to me i actually love crawfish too I, so I, you, I, I love let me crawfish. rephrase that when i was little and growing up i used to eat crab all the time now i can't even stand the smell of it well i love crab okay angry um check your deal is it a video on how to eat crawfish? Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Without eating the eyeballs, Avery. All right. I'm going to be going into that, that um, seafood buffet like a queen after I watch this video. <laughs> yes, Lord. Please, please take the tutorial of it. Please don't go into eating Oh, God. Crawfish Could you see this? Please. Oh, my God. I, I should have let her run with it, y'all. No, I would I would have been highly upset if I would have ate eyeballs and then you guys told me later I didn't have to do that. <laughs> let her, Scarlett, she'll let her go. I, I couldn't do it to her though. I really couldn't. But it is it is a video. How Thank to eat you. them. You're welcome. Please watch it very carefully. <laughs> I can't I can't believe you're in the south and you don't know how to eat that. Because I've been too embarrassed to tell any of my people around here that I don't know how to do it. So I'm just like, nah, okay, so wait, that. so you but get you on a public live <laughs> <laughs> like Because you guys don't, I don't have to see you guys like in person. <laughs> <laughs> you talk to us every night. Uh, and Robert, yes, yeah, some people also suck the head of a crawfish. Ew. <laughs> yeah. My husband does. Yeah. My so the eyeballs? No. The eyeballs are on the outside of it. No. You just. I'm so confused. Just watch. Think of video. lobster. Yeah, that, just, doesn't, that doesn't help. Just okay. watch. Watch the video. I, I think I saw one that is a step by step. Now, my I husband, think. he was out to dinner with some people one time. This is what we don't want to happen to you, Avery, okay? He was out to dinner and they had crab. He didn't know how to eat the crab, so he ate like the shell and all. <gasps> oh, damn! That'll mess your mouth up. Nobody oh. said anything to him about it. Oh, poor dude! He was telling his dad, and he's like, "That's not how you eat crab." <laughs> Golly, I don't even think your stomach digests shells. Oh, well, I'm sure he had a very painful. <laughs> I'm sure. Wow. I just sent you another video to Avery. Thanks. It's a begin it's a beginner's guide. A beginner. <laughs> beginner's guide. <laughs> Crawfish <laughs> for dummies. <laughs> hey Kay, how are you? Hey, how's it going? All right. Hey, Kay, how about Kay. you? Hey. Uh, I'm tired. Hey Kay, are you coming up here to save me from this harassment? 
I had to come up here because y'all are talking about crawfish. <laughs> Oh God, KK! I should have let her run with how she was talking about eating them. Oh God, no! I, I just I should have. I can't. Right now they're a hundred dollars <laughs> for five pounds. It's a hundred dollars. I know. There. There's it like used super, to be twenty dollars. They're super wow. expensive. Oh wow. Hey, go. Yeah, but, I, but I heard they taste really good. It's every. It is my favorite thing to eat on the planet. It's so good. Well, I have sent her two videos on how to eat them, and one of them is a step-by-step -step guide for beginner, uh, beginners. They really have that out there, really? Yes, I will send it to you. They really have I would it. Love, I would love to see this. That's too funny. I, mean, it just I will comes... say this, though. I will say on every every movie set I've ever been on, when we have bull crawfish, I will say if you're out of, if you're from out of town, especially from, like, L.A., you know how we do Scarlet? Like, we'll get a big tray, right? And we'll fill it up. They uh -huh. eat them like lobster. Oh They'll put them God. on their on their on their on their plate. They'll put like two or three, like it's a, like it's a delicacy, like it's a lobster. What a I'm like, wait, what? Such two or amateurs. three? Like, don't you see us with this whole ass tray? Like, it's not. You don't get two or three. You get you get a tray of them. You get five yes. pounds of them. Yeah. Or, or you get like a whole yeah, and you don't have anything else on your plate. It's so no. cute. They'll put them on there. They'll put two or three on their plate, and I'm just like, oh my god. <laughs> I mean, a lot of times, whenever you have a lot of people, you just pour them out on the table, and just people yes. start eating them from there. I yep. mean, yep. such amateurs, man. It just always makes me smile when I see them scoop up like two or three of them. I'm like, really? <laughs> like, that's all you're going to eat? Yeah. <laughs> like, more for me. More yep. for me. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, they are like super expensive, though. Oh, my God. They are. Like, they went I down a little bit, but it's still about $75 for mm -hmm. five pounds. Wow. Yeah. I mean, but in yep. L.A., though, are they actually real crawfish? No, they don't have crawfish in L.A., but when they shoot movies here and we have them for lunch or uh, like whatever... From so LA. when you're okay. when we're shooting a movie in Louisiana and you have all the actors come in from LA, yeah. we have big trays, but they have their little plates and they'll put like mm -hmm. two or three on there, like it's like it's an egg roll. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, like, I'll probably go home and I'm starving, man. They gave me these. Well, no, I mean they have they have other food on their plate too. Like they have a lot of other food, but they think more like it's a delicate, like it's a lobster tail. It's like a little, you know, it's not it's not the main entree. <laughs> it's not the main dish, yeah. Like, right. so I'm just, sorry. like, put a couple on their plate, and I'm like, really? That First of all, do you know how to peel them? Second of all, it's not a lobster. Third of all, like, do you not see my tray? I have a tray <laughs> that's like the size of a coffee table. <laughs> yeah, you cannot <laughs> eat just one, two, or three. Or three. Can you imagine Honestly. just getting three? Yeah. How many no. pounds do you want? And you're like, at the draft, you're like, I'll just take three. They're like, three pounds. No, three crawfish. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do they taste like? Is it like little honey? baby lobsters, but they're spicy and salty instead of sweet and savory? They're, they're better. It depends, it depends better. on. Yeah, they're usually in. They're usually in a spicy sauce. It depends on. A if sauce. You cook no, they some. not a. They're not in a sauce. A it's bowl? like yeah, they're in a, in <laughs> no, a they spicy put, bowl. It's what they. But it's just but well, it's not a sauce. They sprinkle them with spices. They yes. boil them with water Thank that's you. spicy. I'm just yes. saying, like I'm not trying to be all that's corrective, what I mean. but like. They're yeah, not it's sauce. It, if it in depends the sauce, you want it at the fiery crab. It depends on though who cooks them on how spicy they are because not right, everybody cooks levels, them. Sure. Yeah. Old Bay seasoning. Oh man, everybody always talks about Old Bay, but like Tony Sassery is where Sally, it's at. All, like Sally Summer might know the Old Bay, but like in the South, it's the Tony Sassery's or Slap Your Mama. Like Old Bay is not a Southern thing. Oh, I am hooked on the Slap Your Mama. I love Slap Your Mama. And I'm Tony's still working. Salty. I'm still working on my own recipe for Slap <laughs> Your Baby Daddy. Kelsey said, "Don't fall for it, Avery. They're nasty, like nasty. They what? Really? Nasty? Where are you from? Oh my God. Well, I know you really? didn't say nasty. That is my well, favorite food. Like I could too, live, but... I could live off a of crawfish, y'all. I could live off of them. Yes. But you I think mean, they're nasty, Betty Jo? No. Before, before it was so. Kelsey that put that in chat. No, but Before Betty Jo said she thinks it's nasty too. You, you never oh. had good ones. You've never okay. had, if you, if you said they're nasty, you've never had good ones. Oh, well, that's before the problem. I, before I trust any of you, what's the texture like? It's not like an oyster, like a big old. It's like a lobster. No, it's like a shrimp. It's like a, it's like a, a baby shrimp. Lobster. A baby, yeah. lobster. baby lobster, baby shrimp. That's the texture. Yeah, it's really like good. A, a whole bunch of southern people when I moved here told me that oysters were good and all no, I know people get, ended up they with have a hang up. There's a lot of hang ups on the oyster home. texture. 
I, so I, that's I couldn't why hear you. I don't like seafood because of the texture. Yeah, a yeah, lot of people don't like, like seafood. Most sheep, like housekeeper, a day for I will try my best. Scarlett, <laughs> that's so weird to me because we live on seafood out here. But I not know. Like seafood right? is so good. There is. is no keeping KK calm if KK doesn't want to be kept calm. No, KK will not stay calm if you have a problem with crawfish. <laughs> <laughs> we have a problem if you have a problem with crawfish. You just probably but, haven't ever had good crawfish is the real answer. And, and I will tell you right now, if you're at a crawfish bowl with me and you don't know how to peel them, you own, you're <laughs> on your own. You're on your own. You're on your you, own. you better watch you're somebody on. and learn. because no, Look, my yeah, I don't peel them. them. They learn, I don't you learn at three years old to I don't peel your crawfish. own crawfish. But yes. I do know how to peel it. Yeah, you learn at a very a young age. Very young age, because Mama's not peeling them. When Keely turned three, she knew how to do it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I will not peel them. I don't want to peel them for me. I'm damn sure not peeling for you. <laughs> you. You better learn or do without. They learn though. That's like a given. Just, like to yeah, see somebody from the south. You're not from Louisiana if you don't have peeled crawfish. Yeah, period. it's just it's a natural. It is. It really. Yeah. It's weird when you see kids that are like ten years old and their parents are peeling them for them. I'm like, really. I don't understand why you have to peel them. I thought you suck them out. You can suck Watch. the head, Avery, but you can't suck the crawfish Avery. off the tail. Avery. Oh. Watch. Watch the video. Yeah, I'm okay. Scarlett, I want to invite her to a crawfish bowl just to see her <laughs> struggle with it. See Actually, it. Avery, you know what? You eat the whole thing. You eat the shell and the tail. You just eat the whole thing. Oh, I'm not that dumb now. But I did get I'm questioning. Oh, God. I got tricked. Your abilities. <laughs> You eat the whole, really have you know, never, the whole thing. okay. I Avery. really got tricked into being told that oysters were good and Avery. they are good. So gross they are good. They in my mouth. They are. Hold on. Avery. It was like, have a big you ever ball. eaten, Avery, have you ever eaten a shrimp, a whole shrimp where you had to pop the head off and take the, the, <laughs> and peel the thing tail. off the butt? Yeah. Not a head, just pop off the tail. Mm -hmm. Avery, true or false? When you go to Popeyes and you get fried shrimp, do you eat the whole thing with the tail on it? I don't. I don't eat fast food. <laughs> Carla, have you seen that though? People eat fried shrimp from Popeyes and they eat the whole thing, even the tail. <laughs> it's got no, the no, tail no, 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 I didn't even know that Popeye sold shrimp. They do. They have yes. Popeye shrimp, fried shrimp, butterfly shrimp. Girl, have you ever been to Popeye's? I don't Alabama think. has Popeye's, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it's like a whole southern oh. thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we have like three of them here, but I don't think I've well, ever girl, go I don't like yeah, you need to go. shrimp and eat the whole thing. I don't care for Popeye's, so I don't eat them. What? A lot of people like don't Popeyes. like them because of the seasoning on them. Scarlett, I'm well, I gotta go. I mean, I have, I, I have, I'm used to, like, I have to be mean. KK both are, so it doesn't bother You're us. either Popeyes or churches. If you're team Ew. churches, I can't be your no, friend. No, I have, if you're okay, team KFC, here's the thing. I can't be your friend. I have, I have, pro I, I love spicy, but I have problems, I, with what? my health issues, I have <laughs> problems with certain spices, and they use certain spices, so I can't eat it, because it makes oh, me okay. sick. So do you yeah. like churches or do you like KFC? I like my grocery stores one. <laughs> Actually, to be honest with you, I want my hubbies. My hubbies, can, he can outcook any of those people. If I had to choose between churches and, and KFC, it would have to be churches. Or it would be, neither. It would be or a southern hard classic. Neither. It would be a hard neither. Southern, southern classic, <laughs> though, before either one of those. So southern classic does have some good chicken. Churches See, or KFC, I don't know. It's a hard no for both, but I don't, I guess, I don't know. They're both gross. I'll go into like a restaurant, like a sit down restaurant or something, but I don't do fast food at all. Ever? That's, no, that's so bad Why? for you. Because it makes you fat and ugly oh, and unhealthy. What? And, what? Yes, fast food You're is bad. horrible. Her, Everything's bad. horrible. Everything's bad, bad for you. Avery, really? We're gonna have a you sad time. You, you got you got to come to Louisiana. I know. But, gee, Jesus, I don't eat fish without some clothes on. Oh, she oh, don't breaded. eat breaded fish. I'm she like, eats. what? <laughs> oh, breaded fish. Oh, no, oh, Avery, you need to come to Louisiana, and we need to take you to <coughs> South Louisiana. 
She's gonna hate everything. Like, no, we have really good fast food. We have, all the food here is amazing. Where are you from originally, Avery? California. Oh, there's your sign. Sally eats all the shrimp. So, like born and raised in California with like no seasons, no everything's bland, like real California, that's where you grew up, like learning how to eat. Well, yeah. I mean Okay. So I'm just I, asking. Yeah. You poor girl. You poor girl. back and forth between <laughs> California and Arizona. I love Mexican food. Uh, I can't eat food without seasoning on it. I can't either. Like it's like, everything that I cook has Tony's mm -hmm. accessory on it. Mm -hmm. Everything. It's a staple or garlic yes. salt or slap your mama. You oh, know, yeah. We're we we're, we're, honestly, yeah. like, I'm not insane it because we are world renowned for our food. And the fact that y'all don't like seafood is blowing my mind. Oh, I love seafood. <laughs> oh, I love seafood. I think well, it's you never had good JJ. seafood. You never had yeah. good seasoning. You never you had, like, I've never been culturally exposed. If they were to, have to offer here to if they were to come to Louisiana, go down south to like yes. some of the small towns yes. to the locals yes. who will bring yes. you into their house Fresh and give you authentic seafood. yes, girl, gumbo. Yes, straight oh, off God. the shrimp, straight off the boat. I That's like the okay. best you can get. Yeah, we had we boat. had a girl. Whole yeah, whole another world. Gumbo yep. is delicious. It's, a good, well made gumbo. It's a southern made me gumbo. Me garlic yes. gumbo and potato salad would like blow y'all's mind. It is. You have to, you have, you would have to go down south though to get the oh, actual, I like the best. Salad. Yep. What? What did you say about potato salad? I said I could eat some potato salad. Yes, oh, girl, it's so good. Okay, really good. I have, okay, I have another, I have another thing, Scarlett. So I did, <laughs> I did a okay. show and I had a girl that we had a had a beef with because uh -huh. we had a huge debate because she's from Shreveport, all right, and you know where I'm from. She uh -huh. said she could do a cook off with me and beat me all day every day, and I said no, you can't, because like I'm, I'm famous in my own town for my potato salad she said i was crazy because my potato salad is served either cold or at room temp because she swears to god potato salad has to be served hot i said i don't know if it's no, true or yeah. but i've lived in report and i think you're weird no talking. way I think you have no idea of what uh, you're even talking about she, she mustard or mayo hot. wait 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 mustard or mayo mustard mine's or mayo. mayo mine's more mayo -y. duke's yeah. mayonnaise or blue plate if i don't have duke but it's See, always more mayonnaise. -y. I, I, I don't want a mustardy one. I don't want a lot of celery. I, I don't want Dukes a lot of too, onions. Though. We are mayonnaise here, and we are Dukes. I don't like Dukes. I like um, <gasps> I like Hellman. Girl, bye. I like what? Hellman. Avery. Hellman. Blue plate. Oh, you're, you're either Duke or you're Duke. Avery. Avery. No, girl, bye. Oh Avery. Oh my Avery. God. Avery. Avery, quit so digging. Avery, quit Avery. digging. Duke's quit digging. But Hellman's tastes good. What? Quit digging, girl. What is what is Hellman's? Oh, mayo. <laughs> yeah, it's just a brand. Yeah. That's what no, we is here because like, we don't I have can't with you. I can't. I can, we make I two can, batches. Can. One's regular relish and one's jalapeno relish. Oh. They all have a lot of mayonnaise. They I don't take a lot of mayonnaise. mayonnaise. But is is the Hillman's, is it like the, the Miracle Whip salad dressing no, or is it no. actual it's mayo? It's better. No, Hellman's it's mayo. Girl, okay. it's nasty. Okay. Scarlet, it's nasty. Hellman's yeah. is real we mayonnaise. we have to make okay. Duke because we don't have Dukes here. So like you have Duke's to make is phenomenal Duke. and it's yeah, twice it's really the price. Great. It is twice the price, but blue plate was the end all be all until Dukes came around. Yeah, Dukes is really I like it I mean, a I lot better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't have a problem with it. Troll and him, they his whole family eats craft mayo and it's uh, I will eat a dry ass sandwich without any mayo on it if I have to put it. <laughs> My mom, that my mom, put, that's what I grew up on, and I hate it. That's why you always take your own. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Carly, really like, I can relate all the way. Like, I, I love will, mayonnaise. I would rather not even have it. I'd rather not eat a sandwich. I'll just starve. I will I'm not eat a that's sandwich. What, with well, that's what, it. that's what my mom used to serve, and I didn't eat very much mayo at all. It was only <laughs> after I married my husband and we started eating Hellman's that I was like, oh, this is what mayo is supposed to be. Taste like yeah. I, I, blue I plate. Like if you have Hellman. blue plate, get blue plate. <clears throat> yeah, Hellman's is like real popular here in Alabama. You can't really find Duke, yeah. but can you that find means... blue plate? Like blue plate is everywhere. Yeah, I think it's. Oh, I'll have to oh, have my heavy look. We, that we should be a, nationwide. We Hellman's. Hellman's, yeah, but blue plate is way better. Duke's is the best, and I thought it was crazy because mm -hmm. blue plate in the Duke's there's like a it's triple the price for Duke's, but it's so much better. 
But now I, I learned to cook from my mom and my mom is, uh, she was from Pennsylvania. So like a lot of Italian, I love seafood, of course, but a lot of grilling, like a lot of grilled foods. A lot of that. So you never had crawfish? I can't believe you nope. live in Alabama and you've never eaten any of this stuff. That's just sacrilegious. I know, Avery, you're like one state away and you don't like anything that we love. <laughs> we need to introduce it's you to a lot of these things. She's just not, I don't think it's, I think if she had it where it was cooked and done right, right I think right. she would like it. You, you would have to love it. Yeah, I think she well, would. Well, I yeah. can't eat jalapenos. I'm allergic. But, <clears throat> and I don't like relish at all. Oh really? my god, girl. Okay, oh, thank you. Jalapenos is girl so bath. good. Oh my god. Yeah. Jal like homemade pepper sauce with jalapenos. Oh my god. Yes. Jalapeno oh, jelly homemade beans with yes. cream and ham hocks. Jalapeno jelly beans is amazing. Yeah, ham hocks with jalapenos. I guess oh if I have to buy sauces from the store, it is it's the jalapeno kind. And Libra from the store. Like Libra Moon, yes, catfish is like <laughs> all that too. Here in Alabama, like we're known for our Kaneka sausage. It's pretty spicy though, but it's really good. You see, I can't do spicy because it gives me heartburn. <clears throat> yeah, a lot of people yeah. can't can't eat spicy food. Yeah, I can me. eat spice. It's not the spiciness that gets me. It's the type of spice, the, the that's seasoning used. and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. But now Mexican food, I that's oh I can make some yeah, pollo asada, some carne asada, menudo. Oh, I can throw it down. Hey, I ate at that Mexican restaurant the other day when I was in Shreveport, and oh my god, it was oh really? Yes, it was nasty. I'm not too much on Mexican food though. Oh, what is wrong with you? I do love Mexican <laughs> food. I mean, only thing I eat is like quesadillas, and the, I, that's what I got, and it was okay, but it wasn't. Like it wasn't my quesadilla. Yeah. It it didn't have Tony Sassery on it. It didn't have peppers on it. It didn't have none of that on it. And so it wasn't. That now good to me. all of our restaurants. Well, most of our restaurants around here they have the Tonys um, sitting on each table, like mm -hmm. how they have the salt and pepper jars. And they, they should. Them. Yeah, they have shit. the Tonys sitting. On I put that shit on it like it like you put in. Uh, salt on food. Mm -hmm. like, we I don't use <laughs> salt. We use Tony. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. Like some people will like season their meat with salt. I put that. Oh. I put Tony's on yeah. mine like you would salt. It is literally yeah. it's red. I put Tony's. I put uh, uh, garlic powder and oh, yeah. I put season salt on your steak. No, we don't have. Oh yeah, we eating. use more seasoning than we do salt or pepper. Yeah, it's, the house. meat is literally when I season it, it's literally it's red. And you, if you don't know any better, you think it's going to be too hot, and it's it's not. Elsie's like, excuse me while I eat a healthy orange. Talk among yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> Put some Tonys on it. <laughs> I want an orange. Mm, I have. I have a mom's like back to the K bar. Scarlett, have you ever had Caliente in Shreveport? That's, I think that was my favorite Mexican place in Shreveport. No, I've been to Posados. Uh, we went to El, is it El Paso the other day, or El Paso's, and then there was Trejo's, and then there was another one that is up there that I've ate at. But I just, I'm not too much on Mexican food. Oh, yeah. I, I like Mexican food. I mean, it's it's okay, but it's it's just because the meat is not seasoned like I like it. So that's I mm -hmm. think that's what it is. I have to have a lot of seasoning. Me and if too. it doesn't have like any type of spiciness to it, yep. I don't I don't like it. it. Yeah, yeah I, I don't like it. And see, like if I cook like with my husband because he has ulcers, stomach ulcers, I have to be careful whenever I season his food. But mm -hmm. me and my like my my youngest son, everything <laughs> he eats is spicy. Yep. We yeah. make a batch for my dad, and then we make a batch for the rest of the family. But it, it, but that's the reason why he has the stomach ulcers is because he's always <laughs> ate the spicy food, and so I have to be careful with with yeah, his food. Spicy, but. spicy will tear your stomach. They're accusing yeah. us of chasing squirrels, and we're never going to be stopped. Oh, we've done hit a hard left, y'all. There's, there's <laughs> we no started hard, when y'all said crawfish. I said I got to come up here. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, that's and I had. Favorite. I had like a whole list of stuff that I was going to talk about tonight and Avery went to talking about crawfish and she lost me about eating the eyes and I was just like, 
<laughs> when I heard there's a t- tutorial on how to eat crawfish. <laughs> Every way, you want to eat the eyeballs? Well, she didn't know that you wasn't supposed to eat them. That's what we oh were trying God. to explain to you her. Know, come how from to California. Eat them. Every come over, come over to my house. We're gonna have a crawfish bowl, and I, I want you can eat the whole thing. <laughs> you, you, you don't gotta peel any of it. You I'll will probably eat the have me do it the wrong way. It's just a video. I am. I'm gonna let you eat the whole thing. Me. Eat the, the shell and all. The shell mm-hmm. is the best part. I'm not falling for it. Nope. 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 <laughs> <laughs> Uh, holy voodoo is a good rub. It seems like somewhere I've heard of the voodoo rubs, but we, I don't, no, we, I've we never used, used it. Summer, it come good. up here and tell us good. what you're talking about, Summer. Tell us what you're talking about. Some type here. of rub. I, the only thing that I use on anything that I cook is seasoned salt and Tony's accessory. That's that's it. And like I, I may do like onions on it or onion powder, and I'll do garlic powder. The voodoo like rub is the garlic voodoo salt rub is good. And slap your mama. See, I don't even use uh, garlic salt. It's, it's, a, it's, a, garlic it's better because it's like the Lowry. You got to buy the Lowry because all the rest oh, of it is crappy. But Lowry's garlic salt, we throw that on everything. And then I like Slap Your Mama, but Keely likes Tony's. It's just Slap Your Mama's not quite as salty. And the Tony's unsalty, like the unsalted version, is not salty enough. So I feel like Slap Your Mama is like a good compromise. It's not super mm-hmm. salty, but it's not bland. So I like Slap. She likes Tony's. And then garlic salt goes on everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You got to put garlic on, on it all. Like, yeah. If you ain't yeah. got like yeah. fresh garlic to cut up and put in it, you yep. got to have yep. garlic salt yep. or the garlic powder. Until I found Lowry's garlic salt, we'd always add a little salt, a little garlic, but Lowry's garlic salt is the end all be all. But see, I got to watch because I got high blood pressure too. So. Well, yeah, that is true too. So. Well, just take your medicine. You'll be fine. <laughs> I do take it. <laughs> I take it every day. <laughs> You'll be fine. And I still got hot blood pressure. Well, they need up your dosage. <laughs> they did. They just did. <laughs> this is what well, she's talking about, Scarlett. Yes, Lowry's. Girl, I know what it is. That's good. This is the yeah, season salt. salt. No, yep, I've tried all the different brands, but Lowry's garlic salt is the best. The oh, season yeah. salt, though, I have some of that. But what is that other one? What is uh, season? Season salt. It's just, it's just seasoned salt. No, I'll have, I don't know what else it is. It just has it. all kinds of little different herbs and uh, spices in it. Yeah, yep, that, that's it right there, Avery. That is, that is it. That's that is it. it. See, I just get regular garlic powder. I did garlic powder, and I would do the salt, but it's all combined, and it's all just delicious in one little shaker. You need to try the garlic salt from Larry. Yep, Avery, that's it right there. That's it. Yeah, slap your what's mama. That, what's that? What's that brand where they're like, I put that shit on everything. That is the slap your mama. <laughs> you can put it on everything. It just tastes so much better. I'm gonna have to get some of that. Yeah, all of that season, like the Creole seasoning. Oh my god, I, I literally have like two tubs full of the cra- the crab bowl in my pantry right yep. now. Yep. Hey, have you ever tried tiger dust, Scarlett? Uh, no, I haven't. Tiger Ooh. dust is like a mix of Tony's and Slap Your Ma in one little jar, Ooh. but it's hard to find. But it's LSU Tiger Dust. I bet you that is good. It's so good. I use the crab bowl for a lot of stuff too. Mm-hmm. Yep. You're going to send me what you use it in because I have it, but I only use it for the crab bowls and it just sits there. And, and so, like, if you want to open up your sinuses, you just put some crab oil in some water and put it on your stove. You don't have no more. So I've been to a bunch of crab boils, but because I was too embarrassed to tell anybody, I didn't know how to eat the crab um, or the crawfish. Crawfish. You didn't boil. watch and learn. No, no, no. So I just <laughs> ate the potatoes and the corn and everything else. You missed out. Oh, yep. for sure. Liza yeah. said they just went to Jamaica and they had fish eye soup. <clears throat> eyeballs swimming in the bowl. Ew. Yeah, I don't think I could do that one. Ew. But I'm Elsie's like, mmm, juicy I'm orange. Addicted to crab legs. Especially snow crab is the best. The big snow yeah, snow crab. Yes. And then I got tricked into calamari one time. Oh, at, I um, love calamari. At um um, 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 Jim Buffett's Margaritaville, and I started. I put it in my mouth, and I started chewing, and chewing, and chewing, and chewing, and it just never would do anything. It was You're like not supposed chewing. to chew it, are you? 
No, my husband makes the best calamari. Very chewy. And so then I was like, what in the hell is this? And they were like, octopus, man, that came out of my mouth so fast. <laughs> yeah, they serve squid and like, yeah, I like baby squid. octopus. And I like that. Oh, I love restaurant. that. No, yeah, I love I, that. I don't, I don't eat that shit. No, I like that. <laughs> There's not any kind of seafood that I won't eat, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, the spicier, the better. The seafood. Mm -hmm. No, I'm, I'm good. Betty J, you just need to come over and I'll show you what really good seafood tastes like. I don't know. You would like it. I mean, That's I can't but like I'm not eating a damn seafood. <laughs> All right, well, then just come over. <laughs> well, I mean, there is other things, though, that, well, I don't know. I don't like, know. What does she I, eat that didn't have seafood around all. here? And then you guys want to hear something funny? So after my sis, after my mom followed me here to Alabama, family followed me here to Alabama, and my ex-husband, his southern family, took us to a fish fry, and me and my sister were asking our mom, like, how do we eat those? Because there was like, I don't know how to explain it, but it was like little tiny bones in it everywhere. And I just remember my mom was like, girls, don't eat that. And um, but apparently, we're, we're gonna, we've got to teach you, honey. <laughs> <laughs> you can't eat that. You can't go to a fish fry or a crawfish bowl and not know how to eat the food. I know. <laughs> I would just love to witness Avery at a crawfish bowl try and eat the food. <laughs> Like, don't get that me wrong, the funny. potatoes and the corn and the sausage and all that is good in at the crawfish bowls because it's all boiled in the same, you know, type of water what crawfish is. But you're not getting the full experience of it if you don't eat the crawfish. That's good, though. Somebody's going to eat the, uh, the bullshit. <laughs> I mean, I love the like potatoes. Like the potatoes and the corn. Like, somebody's got to eat it. So, let them eat all that. And we'll have all the crawfish. <laughs> I like well, doing I'm the mushrooms. The and have you ever had... Carla, I know you've had corn. it. You've had the pickles, like the big dill pickles in there. That is so good. And the crawfish? Girl, this is no. the pickle channel. Yes. We throw, like, the baseball park pickles in there. It is so good. Mushrooms are good, but pickles are really good. No, I've never had the pickles. We usually put lemons, onions... Potatoes, sausage, corn, corn, yeah, mushrooms, dill pickles. Yeah, I've had eat them with uh, with mushrooms in it too. I've never had the pickles though. I love Wait. the mushrooms. The pickles are really good. You guys put all that in your in your crawfish oil? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Well, yes, the we ones I've been to here in Alabama didn't have all that. It's because it wasn't cooked correctly. I was going to say that then that it's not southern. a real crawfish boil. I'm not southern hmm. enough. I've seen the weirdest things be thrown into a crawfish bowl. <laughs> the weirdest things. But no, those are the, what we just said, that's like the standard. Besides the pickles, because those are like a little bit rare, but all that stuff is standard. The weirdest thing to me was when they dumped it on this big, uh, this big line of <laughs> long tables. That's not with, weird. That's how you do it. Not weird. Yeah, but everybody's hands just started digging in there at one time. Like, but you're not, gonna you're not going to eat this. You're not going to eat. You're not going to eat the shell. Yeah, you anyway, don't eat the so shell. Matter. This is what we do because we, no, we actually, have a you do eat the shell. Every you eat the whole thing. You just put it the whole thing in your mouth. Usually, what they do is they line up a bunch of tables. Some people will put uh, newspaper on top of the table, yeah. pour all the crawfish out, and everybody stands around the table. And you have trash cans around it so you can throw yep. the shells in it, and you just mm -hmm. eat it like that. And if you Did want some type of like sauce that. or something like that, then you have a plate or a bowl for your sauce. Here, they dump it all out like together the corn, yeah, yeah, everything. That's what they do. Yeah, that's what and they then do. everybody just starts sticking their dirty fingers right. out. Right, <laughs> but you're not eating the shells anyway, so it doesn't matter. Well, she talked about the dense. corn and all of that. Though. Yeah, well, I mean, no, I mean, people aren't touching on a corn unless they're going to eat that corn. They're yeah. not going to touch it unless they're eating it. Well, I know because I'll be watching them. It, it half the I'll people usually, <laughs> usually at crawfish bowls that I've ever been to, most of the people are already drunk by the time the crawfish gets done, so they don't even pay that any attention anyway. Yes, we are all drunk by <laughs> so. the time the crawfish is ready, and nobody wants the corn or the potatoes or the mushroom. Like you're eating the crawfish, so we're glad to have people like you to come over to eat the filler. <laughs> 
I mean, I, don't get me wrong. The potatoes are really good. They are good. And the corn's good too. But like when you I love the corn, yeah, but you got you got to eat crawfish first. Scarlet, if I had a crawfish boil and I said, "Look, girl, it's a hundred dollars for five pounds," so we're only going to boil five pounds of crawfish. You want to come over? And you're like, "Yeah, sure, I do." It'd be me, you, and Avery. Me and you are going to tear up that five pounds in two seconds, and we're going to be grateful for people like Avery who just want to eat on the corn and the potatoes. I don't know. Okay? If, it's me and you, if it's me, just me and you and Avery, we would have to get ten pounds. Five for me. Girl, five if for you. yeah, absolutely. But I'm saying, like, times are times are tough. It's a hundred dollars for the five pounds. So I'm saying, when you dump out the first batch, everybody's going for the crawfish. Nobody's like, oh god, I can't wait till the corn's done or the potatoes right. are done. Like everybody, like that's like the. That's the specialty yeah, that's... of the entire meal. Nobody's fighting over the corn and potatoes. Oh, oh, no, nobody cares about the corn. So that was my point. No, if it was me and you, sis, yeah, we're tearing up 10 pounds easy, just me and you. Oh, we're sure. going to order like 40 because, you know, you always peel the leftovers and make the tea later. Like, mm -hmm. there's all that you're, stuff. You're you know what I'm saying? Like, we're, and, yeah. and, like, we're in poverty, poverty level poor. <laughs> $100 about a five yeah, that shit is Me and you are tearing up those crawfish. Every I don't like on her to, first piece of corn. I like to have fell out my <laughs> seat whenever I seen how much they were at the beginning of the season. Girl, they were over a hundred dollars. Five pounds is like the average person. Three mm -hmm. pounds if you're a kid, five if you're an adult, and five has been going for like $125, $100, give or take. Yes. And it's yes. like we used to pay $20 yes. for five pounds. Like this season sucks. I think in Shreveport, there's one place right now that's selling. Um, if they cook them, it's like ten dollars a pound, eight ninety nine to crazy. ten dollars a pound. That's fifty dollars. I know. That's crazy. Because we used to get five pounds for twenty dollars. Yep, and they're cheaper if you get them live. Yeah, for sure. But I don't know how to do all that. They stuff. used that's to like be whole, poor that's man. The whole situation. <laughs> they used to be poor man's food, just like chicken wings, until somebody decided it was a designer food. Well, the problem was we had a really hard summer. Uh, really hard was it a really hard winter, Scarlet, to where it like wiped out half the crawfish. Yeah, the and reason. and they got to have plenty of rain and. Oh, yep, it shit. was the weather that dictated yeah, the crawfish on this. Yeah. Hey, Scarlet. Uh huh. Look, can you look at the article in back chat? I have read this article about 10 times, and I don't know if I'm not comprehending it or if I'm just stupid. I just don't know. Um, you... okay. <laughs> I am far from see, stupid. I did see about this guy, though, this coach that was missing. I did see that earlier. But it says he was found... He's an Alabama football coach. It says he was found in the Gulf in Florida. And that sounds like he's dead. But then it ends with, if you see him or his kayak, to call a phone number. So if they found him, I, I don't, I'm not... Yeah, we're we talking about... Hold on, let me pull it up here. It's a, a football me. coach that has went missing. I've seen something about it earlier, I think, on Twitter. Um, he is so cute too. Mm -mm -mm. Hold on. Let me let me zoom in in a little bit. Yeah, zoom in. Bit. Okay, but it does say right here. So a kayaker from Asalaguga, Alabama, who was Salicata. reported missing. Oh, okay. Uh, who was reported missing in the Gulf early Thursday evening has been found. Yeah, he's been found. Okay, so a Walton County Sheriff's Office spokesperson spokesperson says Chris Smelly. The head football coach at the high school was found in the United States, uh, found by the United States Coast Guard. The w, a WCSO reported that he went missing after going kayaking at 8.30 on Thursday. So that would have been this morning. Okay, so the United States Coast Guard out of Mobile has been notified Florida Fish and Wildlife has launched from the inlet at Dustin Pass and is heading east towards Grayton. If anyone spots so, wait, was this an update? Hold on. I'm so confused. Yes. Okay, so it was posted March 28th at 4.25 p.m., and then it was updated on March the 28th at 7.57 p.m. So, this is this is the update, this top part. All of this. So, so okay. Yes, that's, so, that's, they're just that's not telling us if he's found dead or alive. Is that what it, no. I'm understanding? No, it doesn't say how he was found, just that he was found. Okay. 
so, so yeah, that's just an update to it. Okay, so that was like the original article, and then just that top paragraph is the update. Yeah. Okay, I thought I was losing my mind. Yeah, I see a lot of times they will post like if, if it's an original article and then they post an update to it, they they will post like the updated time, but the updated part of the article, and it makes sense. But how they have this one, they didn't they didn't do that. And do you know, like, he is so good looking, and his last name is Smelly. <laughs> I was going to say, imagine going through school with that name. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, it's terrible. Let me see if there's any update. You know he got picked on. <laughs> Wait, I need to go. I need to go. Where the hell is it? Oh, here's that's as bad as having the last name Harry. That's worse. Okay. All right. So it says he, the former SEC quarterback, uh, found safe after missing and for hours in the Gulf of Mexico. But it's not. That was six hours ago. Damn it! That page is not found now. Okay, so it says he was located in this one, but let's see if it says... Okay, so it says that he was... The, the head football coach was located safe Thursday evening after he was reported missing in Florida the same morning. So... Okay. It says he was found miles from the shore. He was reportedly in good spirits when he was found. And he was spotted by Coast Guard helicopter around 7, 12 p.m., Still in his kayak about two miles off of Grayton Beach. Yeah, it's a wonder a shark didn't get him. Yeah, and that little bitty kayak out in the Gulf. So he was found. He's he is alive and safe. Wait, who is this missing Everett four year old? I see this oh. earlier too, but it says he's been found deceased. Yeah, um, I seen that earlier too. Uh, okay, so shortly before six PM Thursday, the department was notified that the body had been found outside of Everett. So Is that the one from Idaho? Uh, where is where? there's a little boy missing from Idaho too? Hold on, let me He's like three or four. Is this him? No, Everett, Washington is where this is at. Oh, mm -mm. no, there's another one missing too from Idaho. Okay, I seen this little boy's picture earlier, but it, where it was talking about that he was missing, but I just seen that it popped up on Twitter when I was scrolling through it. Mm -hmm. The one from Idaho, ain't he two years old? I can't, um, I can't quite remember. I was, cause I was wanting to see how close it was to Michael Monkey Vaughn, and then I forgot to go back and look. Do you remember what his name is? No, but if you type in um, missing boy in Idaho follows, um, it should be. Oh, yes. Didn't we, didn't we talk about that the other night? The last time I was live, isn't he two years old? I can't remember that either. Or, or was that it? Discord that we talked about that. I think it was Discord. It might have been. I, I remember talking to somebody about it, and they said he was from Idaho, and I said, "Yeah, he's from Idaho Falls." Yeah, and I want to say he's two years old. I don't see anything on Google about it. Okay, Scarlett, I'm hopping down. I just want to hop up here and say my piece on crawfish. Okay, thank you for I'll coming be, up. I'll be in the chat. All right, okay. bye, KK. Bye. Bye, bye. bye. bye y'all. Okay, let me see. Oh, wait. Is this yet? Hold on. Um, no, that's from Pocatello, and that is probably 16. Sorry, I was in the other room. Bye, KK.
she's been missing since uh, uh, March the 22nd. No. I remember that that being brought up about the little boy from Idaho Falls, but I don't, I don't see anything about it now, Avery. I'm, I'm looking too. Maybe this little girl. Damn it. No, I think it was a little boy. Wait, where's Libra? Is Libra still in here? Oh, I'm sure. She she would probably know who we're talking about. Unless Trev is on. If, if he rubs on, then she, she might may not. be over there. Uh, I don't know. She goes and watches that, listens to that spirit box. Mm-hmm. And we'll try to listen to it, but it is very loud. It is loud. It'll give you a headache. Yeah. Okay. Um, Libra, do you remember when we were talking in Discord the other day? And it was, we were talking about the missing kid that is from Idaho Falls, Idaho. Do you remember what his name is? Or if he's been found or anything? I remember talking about it. I just don't remember his name. Let me try missing child from Idaho Falls. Wait, is it Idaho Falls or is it Post Falls? Maybe it's Idaho Falls. I don't remember. I thought you said Idaho. I, I think that's where it's from. Let me wait. Hold on. No, there's something. Let me try Post Falls. It's one of the two. Okay, no, wait, hold on. Here we go. It's from Post Falls. He's too- Oops, my bad. No, I was saying Idaho uh, Falls too. <laughs> Edith Wiggles. It was one of the falls. It's uh, Edith, is it Wiggies Roman? Is the little girl's name. And oh, it, it is a little girl. Yes. Um, I remember now. Hold on, I'm gonna pull her picture up. But it does say here that update child has been failed. Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Isn't that the Safe? Yes, she has. Yes, she's two. Uh, it, it doesn't say, it just says she's been found. Aww. I remember now. Because when I seen her picture, I thought of Summer Wells. That's, I remember the picture now. Aww. Her hair reminds me of Summer. Yes. Summer Wells. Before they whacked it? Yeah, before they whacked it. Summer's oh, beautiful you, girl. Geez, I'll tell you that. Okay. Um, I want to know why in the world parents cannot keep an eye on their two year old. I don't know. Did y'all hear about the two, fa- the two parents that had their kids at the beach and the parents passed out and went to sleep on the beach? And yeah. lost no. their kids? Yes. Oh, they my really God. Lost their kids. And the, the law enforcement had to come wake the pair, the mom and the dad. They had to oh wake them God. up on the beach, and they had no idea where their kids were at. That's just see. They oh, should lose their kids. Oh my God, I, I can't with these people. Weren't they drinking? I can't either. Yes, I think, they had, also- I think they had passed out from drinking. Yeah, that's. I think I read that too. They I just can't. don't. They don't need children. I, really I don't. I don't remember how old the kids were, but they wasn't very old. And they were just. I remember hearing a blip about it. I don't think they were that old. Oh, did you guys hear that? um, You know how Alex Murdoch was given um, a deal where he had to take up up for his financial crimes. He had to take a polygraph test, and that was part of his deal um, to get a lesser sentence. Right. It just came out today in the news. He failed the polygraph. Oh, no kidding. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, guess what? He ain't getting no lesser deal, is he? Yeah, they said he broke the, the um, whatchamacallit. Um, the agreement. He was supposed to tell the truth. Yeah, they, call it, they, they called it something else. I can't remember what it was, but that he broke that. And so now I guess he can get, like, the maximum sentence. Good. Uh, Meta Mom said the, those kids at the beach were five and seven. Yeah, I didn't think they were very old. Yeah. Did they find the kids? 
Yeah, they found the kids, and then they went and found the parents, and the parents were all hugged up with each other, passed out on the beach. Yeah, and then them two should be under the prison. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Um. Okay, did y'all hear about Chad Dorman entering an insanity plea? Yeah. Yeah. I think yes. Sick. That Sick. man. He mm. is a coward. He's just yes, a, a coward. big one. Yeah. If yep. there was an award for a coward, he'd get the award. That's why he wanted his confession throughout. Because he yep. pleaded not guilty by reason of insanity. And then I, <clears throat> oh, he didn't look insane to me when they pulled up on him. No, no. He was just no. sitting there with his kids. He's out like, I did what I did. Ha, ha, ha. I'm not going to hurt anybody else. I'm sorry, but when you chase Could your I have my down, cigarettes, please? Yeah, but here's the thing. When you chase your child down and bring them back and then do that to them, yeah. you're not... You're no not sympathy. Honest. Sorry. You're no sympathy. That's why I don't understand why the judge let him throw out the, the confession. The confession. Yeah. And then yeah, I, I, was, so um, I was listening to a video that Justin posted mm -hmm. um, about Chad Daybell and it was a court TV video. From from what I gathered from the video, I guess Chad Daybell is planning to um, claim innocent and pin everything on, on Lori. Well, you know, his trial starts Monday. Yep. For this. That's what I got from the video. Um, I don't I, know. I may have had it oh, wrong. Oh, yeah. They said he's going to throw her under the bus big time. Well, mm -hmm. we knew that. Well, um, let's see. It happened on your property uh they were found on your property you she wasn't a, there right she wasn't there there was um he was there he was there with alex and you sent a bogus ass text to your wife tammy about a raccoon and raccoon. burning uh sticks before a storm so i'm I guess sorry he, but you can't <clears throat> throw it on lori i guess he's gonna say that lori had her brother do it or something something like that now he might have done. It. I, I mean, I got but Chad in it more. too. But yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if Lori, because I mean, honestly, if Lori told Alex to go jump off a bridge, he wouldn't want to know which bridge and we're at on the bridge and mm -hmm. absolutely all this and that. So, How high do you want me to jump? Exactly. Like, if you, what type of dive do you want me to do? Yeah. Uh, and, so, are they live streaming his trial, or is it going to be like Lori audio? Uh, no, it it we are gonna get to watch it, but I'm trying. I think oh, wow. they're gonna live he stream wanted, it. Chad wants it. Yeah, Last he wanted the he cameras. Wants it live stream. He wants the cameras. I need to go to. Uh, wait, who? Scarlett, are you gonna cover Chad Dorman's trial? I. Mm. If they if they live stream it, Michelle, I might. I, I don't I don't know. Because it's tough one. It's. Like it made me sick covering uh, Adam Montgomery's trial. I don't know if I could do Chad uh, uh, Chad Dorman's. I, I Honestly, Adam Montgomery's trial it, it messed me up for quite a few days after it was over. Um, so I, I don't I don't know. Oh, Obviously. and before I forget, the new member I was telling you guys a long time ago that. That um, Jason Jason Jensen was in um, Vegas filming mm -hmm. a documentary about Brian Cover. Oh, yeah. Well, um, it's out. It's on Fox Nation. Well, what the hell is Fox Nation? Um, well, it, it's an app, I think, but you have to pay twenty nine dollars oh. for a year to be able to watch the documentary. No, I'm not doing that. No, I'm not either. I'll wait till we can watch it for free. It'll eventually come on right. mm -hmm. one of these. Okay, so I'm looking on Court TV. I don't see that they have anything upcoming for Chad's trial. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. No, that's three months ago. Um, so either them or Law and Crime 1 will, I'm pretty sure, have cameras in there. Or they're going to do it on... Let me, wait, let me get to the Adam website. Let me just go to Chad's. Libra, I just play him on 2.0. And see if 
it says anywhere on there if they're gonna do it on the judges YouTube channel because that might be how they do it um, Chad Dorman so I don't know yet that's gonna be one that I'm gonna have to think really really hard about I just I don't know if I can sit and listen to all that evidence with those those little boys and then yeah. I have to listen wanna. to his damn insanity plea, knowing damn good well he wasn't insane when he did it. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if I'll do that one or not. Uh, okay, so let me, let me go down. Yeah, was, was Chad Tuerman's wife planning to leave him or something? Yeah, she was wanting a divorce. Okay. That makes sense. That don't give you a right to kill, to do what you did no. to you. No, and that's definitely not uh, insanity. Insanity. Mm -mm. So how is he going to say it's insanity when he does that to his children, then very calmly walks over, sits down on the front porch, puts the pew pew beside him, and just wait for the Ellie to get yeah, there? Yeah, he just waits for him to walk all the way up to him. And, yep. oh, I'm not going to hurt anybody. I'm not drunk I'm not whatever but you just did that to your three kids and the mom like you yeah you shot her too well and, and then he and had he his had his daughter the daughter yep okay um I'm I'm looking through Chad's documents real quick and just seeing if there's anything on here and I am not seeing nothing about if it's going to be live stream or not I'm trying to go through like the last couple of months to see if there's anything like if it's going to be their YouTube, uh, their YouTube channel or like who's getting. You know. Avery, you ought to stream that. Did Avery. Avery, it, it'd be a big no. She's on here. She probably yeah, she's probably just mute. She's, she's muted, muted right now. Oh yes, it'd be it's a good start off good. for her. I <laughs> bet you would get a lot of views what? for your first what? one to stream, Chad uh, at uh, Dormans. Chad, I don't know if I can either. Um, I know I I want to. It'd be a good kickoff for your channel. I want to cover Delphi. I don't know about. Too lordy. That's yeah, a mess. gonna be. Yeah, that's gonna be. Delphi's a mess. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and they added um, more murder charges to him the other day. I don't, honestly, I don't know how he's gonna get a fair trial with that judge, period. I don't care where they have it. She's just ridiculous. Hey, Chasey, I read that comment. <laughs> um, now, JC is right. Also, John Ramsey, which is Jomini Ramsey's dad, is going to be at Crown Con this year. Yeah, he usually, he has been quite a few times. I think it was 2002 i think it's they said something about when he was there in 2002 then he's going to give an update of what all has happened since he was last there okay let's see i am wait okay so accordingly the court defines that permitting the public to view open portions of the voir dire while removing all observation of the in-camera questioning is at least restrictive okay so that's not if you hear snoring, it's not me. It's the baby? Yes. Yeah. Damn it. Okay. Um, 
like there is nothing about. I want to know if they're gonna. Yeah, I'll have to watch better. it. I will watch it over the weekend. Either court TV, if they're gonna do it over court TV or Law and Crime, they will have something upcoming on Sunday night on their channel. Isn't uh, but isn't um, isn't it just jury selection? Yeah, and they they probably won't do the jury selection, but they should still have it if they're gonna if they're gonna cover the trial. If not, then it's gonna be and they're gonna live stream it. It will be on. The, their YouTube channel, and who is a voice? Yes, yeah, Stephen Boyce. Actually, YouTube sub to his channel. That way, and hit the notifications for that, so that way I will know if he has anything that comes up. Um, what else was I about to say? Oh. Um, speaking of the Idaho cases, Major John Kaler, he got a life sentence because, you know, he has the four charges of second degree and he got a life sentence for each one of his charges. Wow. Uh, so he's to serve four life sentences for that. Well, good. Um, Brian Kohlberger has a hearing on May 14th. At 1.30, it's going to be for the defendant's fourth a motion to compel. And it did not say on that document if it is going to be live streamed or not. So I'm pretty sure they will, if it is, they will come out with another thing saying, yes, it's open to the public. It'll be live streamed and, and all that once that date gets closer. Uh, there was something else. Was oh, Adam Montgomery is now mandated to appear at his sentencing on May the 9th. Good. I am Good. so glad to hear that. Needs to. So the judge did order that, that he has to be there to hear, so he can hear the victim impact statements. He should. He yeah. Did. He that should was ordered to, Yeah. He should have been ordered to be in that trial. Yeah. The whole I agree. And I hope they super cavity search him with that probe <laughs> that Lady B was talking about. <laughs> Okay, thank you, Kelly. So Kelly P says Day Bill is being streamed on Judge's YouTube channel. Jury selection starts Monday. Brandy Churchwell is live streaming it. Okay, thank you. Well, wow. Jury selection will probably take a couple of days. Um, I don't know how long it'll last. Do y'all want me to stream it during the day? The Chad Day Bill one. Because, I mean, we're probably going to hear a lot of the same evidence that we heard in Lori Vallow's trial, but there's also going to be new evidence that we will hear about, being that it was at his house, on his property. That's where it happened at. That's where they were found. Uh, on top of the fact of his wife, Tammy. And I really want to mm -hmm. know how Tammy, like, what her official cause was. Like, how right. did she die? What, what caused her death? Yeah, I mean, they were saying that um, Chad is much more animated than Lori, so they're expecting the trial to be more, um, what's the word? Uh, Exciting. Salacious, salacious, I guess. <laughs> oh, Lord. Yeah, because I guess he's, you know, more, like, verbal and just... Not like her, just stoic and not. she's more smirky. Yeah, like she didn't say much or do much. Yeah, she just she gave the camera a smirk or two here and there. Uh, give her a smirk or two. Oh, I would too. I would too. Oh, with her dance. I want to know how they make how the female inmates make makeup for their faces from inside of the jail. Jolly Ranchers. Really? Girl, you you didn't hear about the, uh, Lori Vallow's <laughs> orange Jolly Rancher makeup? No. And Kool-Aid. And, and, oh, yeah, there was like a whole big thing when she came with that lipstick. damn orange-ass eyeshadow on with her orange jumpsuit. Like, she was, yeah, she was, was really funny. wanting to coordinate her makeup with her with her jumpsuit, I can tell you. Well, ha would it? She I mean, like wouldn't Jolly mess. Rancher leave you sticky? Maybe she likes it that way. <laughs> <laughs> who knows i mean she was 
she was curling her hair. Her hair and how, how was she curling her hair? I, I've heard, I've heard that. I've heard that. I've heard the the cardboard out of the like the toilet paper roll or whatever. I have heard several different ways. But yes. Wow. You'll have yeah, to go women. Back and women look. will get creative, man. Yeah. I don't know if she was tying rags in her hair. I don't know if she was portland to uh, a beauty salon. What was going on? But yeah, she came out with that. Well, she didn't go hair. to any beauty salon. That's for sure. Well, I would be trying. Maybe it was to her own personal beauty salon. I would be trying to look as ugly as possible, so I didn't get an Girl. unwanted girlfriend. She, okay, but wait, we're talking about Lori Ballow. Okay. True. That's she the only the, way she knows how to get anything. Yeah, she she uses her looks to get what she wants, and she come out looking like a hot mess, but thought she was she worth like a million deal. dollars. But she, she was not she worth. Doesn't. She wasn't worth a bag of chips, the bag, the chips, or anything. Okay. Well, she I like she looked like a clown, yeah. but I was trying to figure out how they come up with. You'll have to read it. I forgot where, what, it was somebody that was talking about, I don't remember, it might have been on one of the Facebook groups, but they were talking about how they use Kool-Aid, uh, candy, Jolly Ranchers was mentioned like several times. So they get creative. Oh, interesting. And they curl their hair with tampons. Or I don't, she might have been tying rags in her hair. I don't know. But know, all she, I know yeah, she could have torn up a sheet. Who knows? Yeah. She was doing something. But, yeah, her hair would come, she would have it all curled, and she she still looked like a hot mess. Well, yeah, but after a while, the trial went on, she just kept looking worse and worse and worse. Yeah, like, you can tell the Botox is wore off, that, that she would, when she used to color her hair, like all the gray hair is there now, mm -hmm. um, the roots are showing. Ain't like, she in Arizona now? Yes, for right now she is. Um, she just... She looked like a hot mess. So you can get your hair cut here in jail, but it will most likely be done by the local barber. I think the guys can here in Louisiana. I don't know what they do with the women's hair. I don't know. I don't know how they... I just, I, Y'all, just the orange eyeshadow with the orange jumpsuit. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. That was funny. Yeah. Uh, she just, I don't know if, if she was a mixture between a pumpkin and a carrot that <laughs> looked like they like smashed and had a baby pumpkin carrot. Baby carrot pumpkin. <laughs> it was yes, bad. It, it was, was really bad. It really was. Hey, Thistle. I need a I drink to talk to so <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. You can just tell though, like the Botox is. Yeah, it's like way gone. Yeah, like it's it's she literally. Okay, and, and the only reason why I'm talking about this woman is because I can't stand her what she did with her kids. If it was any other woman, I wouldn't be saying this about her. But Lori Vallow looks like a Milton uh, candle. Yeah. <laughs> I agree with that. <laughs> and there was some cartoon they had the the like the what do you call them the stick candles or whatever they're called and you know how they they had the face on them because it was a cartoon and they yep. were lit and they were melting that boy ballot mm -hmm. yep. oh, uh and kelly p yes i was actually nate eaton was live earlier tonight and i caught the first five minutes of, of the live and he was talking about you know he was going to be doing like the nightly recaps of what was going on in chad's trial uh he also talked about how we could watch it but i didn't get to make it to that part i so, i just remembered you wanted the um brian enton video with the emmys and i forgot to to find it did anybody else find it for you no but i'll find it and maybe okay. play it tomorrow shit i just looked in the video I think my phone died and I got distracted and then I forgot. And then you fell off the chat or off the panel. and That's true. I did that too. Then we had to talk about crawfish. We had to give crawfish. a lesson on how to eat, eat it properly. I to just make sure you watch the videos. I'm going to. Uh, and that was, maybe and that was date night is going to be 
at the seafood buffet because I won't go in there like a pro eating me some crawfish. It's like, I ain't scared to eat it in front of nobody no more. <laughs> Girl, we got you. We need you to take a video. <laughs> yes. We need a video for sure. So we can see it in Discord. I just want to see the expression on your face when you eat the first one for the first time. Hmm. I'll, I'll see about getting a video. <laughs> Tomorrow's Friday, right? Yep. Yeah, tomorrow's, yeah, tomorrow's good Friday. Yeah, yep. tomorrow's date night. Wait, it is Friday, right? Y'all, I keep yeah, losing tomorrow days. tomorrow is Friday. Okay. Today is Friday. Okay, I keep losing days in the week, y'all. It's good Friday tomorrow. Yes, good Friday is tomorrow. Sunday is Easter, Easter. Sunday. Yep, I think I'm going to cook Sunday. I just don't know what I'm going to cook yet. Yeah, the, the baby's so excited. Aww. Yeah, that I, reminds me. I need to call my sister and ask her what she's cooking us for Easter. I forgot all about that. Yeah, my daughter came earlier today and said she wanted me to cook, so... What the I hell am I cooking? If she cooks ham, I just hope it's not dry like it was at Christmas. Girl, she did stuff up with some Tony Sassery. <laughs> get some get some of the injectable stuff and put in it. It won't be dry. See, you need to, me and you need to get on the website together, and I need to show you how to grocery shop. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be getting all the good kind of food. King Scarlet forgot about Easter. What? Oh good thing I'm not expecting an Easter bunny from you, King Scarlet. Right. Crescent Roll Tacos is my, oh, the, uh, what do they call that? This will wear a taco ring with the Crescent Rolls. Oh, so good. You cook the ham in a frying pan. Are you talking about, Scott, like the ham steaks in the pan? Yes, taco rings, y'all, are, oh, my God, they are so, so good. I haven't heard of those. It's all you do is you have, I, well, I do mine on a big round pizza pan. And you just take the crescent rolls and you lay, you know how like you have like the, the wider part and then you roll it up to the smaller part. Mm -hmm. Well, instead of rolling them out, you just take them and you, you lay the wider part out. And then you just let the, the smaller end hang off the end of, the, the pizza pan and then you put all of your like your your taco meat and and all this in it and you just you do it in a circle all the crescent rolls flip it the crescent roll back over the top of it put it in the oven cook it and then in the middle i will have like a dish of like salsa or something like that that you want to you know like eat with your tacos or whatever and then mm -hmm. you can put it your tomatoes and lettuce and stuff like that on it afterwards. Hmm. So yeah, I started doing lines on a cookie sheet. I've never done a cookie sheet, but the the, pe the pizza pan always works out perfect for me. But yeah, if you Google it, the taco ring, that's so, so good. <laughs> oh my God, it's so Everything's good. Google. Because Google is always right, y'all. Y'all know this. Google is never wrong. According to my son, anyway, because I've like, me and him has had that argument. Yeah, but like, he changes Wikipedia, right? Yes, he knows how to. Among other things. I have to tell him to stop doing that. But <laughs> I will literally, I'll be like, he'll tell me something. I'll be like, how do you know that? I read it on Google. I was like, but Google's not always right. Yes, it is. Everything that's on the <laughs> internet is correct. Okay, I'm not going to argue with you. Uh, that's so funny. <laughs> I got <laughs> chicken and broccoli stuffed shells. That sounds good too. With mushrooms. The mushrooms would be really good in that. I think Troll cooked tonight. I think he cooked stir fry. Hopefully there's still some left. Okay, let me make sure that I've 
went over everything. Uh, did I have a root beer for the night? You need to tell Troll to hop on here every once in a while so we can say hello. Yeah, he keeps telling me he's going to come on panel one night. It's been, it's been like forever since he's even been in chat. Yeah, I think every now and then he'll watch it. But he's been so busy here lately that he hadn't even had a chance to even drop in the chat for a little while. Well, tell him he's missed. Wait, allegedly BK Defense has been reaching out to the Snoopers. Okay, so Kelly P, what I have heard about that, um, because there was an order that came out from from Judge Judge that has ordered both the defense and the prosecution not to get in touch with potential jurors. What I've heard is that they were sending out questionnaires. Like, you know how when you're going into a trial, especially if it's a, a DP trial, and you have a, uh, are they called jury consultants? Like the person who was there to help you pick out uh, potential jurors that could be in your favor, in the favor of the defense. Uh, that they had, the defense has this jury coordinator, whatever they're called, and that they were sending out questionnaires to people in the community asking what they knew about the case, have they heard about it, like all these different questions. Uh, that's what I heard it was. Don't know if that's, that's really nope. what it was. Or what? I, I, that's <laughs> legal. I thought they just, I mean, would pull the people that came into. That's what I, the jury. That's okay. Thank you, Thistle. Um, Sally may have a good night. I have heard mm -hmm. of the, and I can't remember the exact name. I remember when, um, oh, what's his name? Um, Kyle Rittenhouse. I remember when he was on trial, and his attorney had this lady that was like the expert in helping the defense pick out potential jury members to be in their favor. Well, yeah, they have uh, those. I can't remember what they're called, though. I can't either, but... But anyway, so allegedly that is what Ann Taylor has and that supposedly that, that is the people that was sending this stuff out and getting in touch with potential jurors. In the and community. that's why the judge did what he did. Yes, that is why he has ordered both of them, both sides, yep. not to get in touch with potential jurors in the community. Now, whether that's, I know there is an order for both sides not to get in touch with anyone, but I don't know if that's the reason why. Just right. that it has been said that she was getting in touch with potential jurors, and then it was said about this jury consultant, whatever they're called. Uh, so I don't know which one is true. I just know that both sides have been ordered not to contact anyone. And good, they shouldn't anyway. No, because a lot of people were saying that that's Anne is doing that in order to taint the jury, in order to get the change of venue, yep, and all that. So, I don't know if, if the jury. I'm just gonna call him a jury consultant. Y'all know what I'm talking about, but I don't know if they send stuff out to people in the community to ask like how much. Because how are you even gonna know who's even called in for jury duty? Right. You know, ain't it ain't it picked by random? Yeah. I, I know we had that discussion before about like how people were picked. I don't know exactly if it's random or by number or whatever, but I mean, there's no way of knowing who's going to be a potential juror who's going to get called in for jury duty. So what's the point of sending it out to people who may not even be called? I can't remember if it's done by, I know it's done by your license, but I don't know how. Yeah, I don't know. I my um, number on your license. It could be that they go by the last whatever digits. It could be. My storage house is um is next month, April, and it's funny because wait, Avery, we can't. You you sound like you're yeah, like you're in a tunnel again. Is that better? Nope. You're still no, it's like you're way off. Come back, Avery. I lost my charger. Is it better? Is it better? Yeah, a no. little bit.
Okay, is it better? Oh, no. It's not 100%, but you're like 75. <laughs> it kind of, it sounds like you're in a tunnel, but you're like way off as well. Well, crap. I don't know what to do. There you go. There you go. Stay right there. Oh, okay. I moved an inch. <laughs> Stay right there. Um, yeah. Don't move. My, uh, yeah. my jury trial is, is next month. And my neighbor is um, my good friend, and she happened to know the date and, and time of my trial. And um, she asked me the other day uh, if if that was the same date and time. She got summoned from my jury trial, <laughs> so she had to send a letter in telling Wait, him. Why do you have me. Why do you have a jury trial? For my car accident. Oh, I was going to say, Avery, you didn't know something we didn't know about it. Yeah, no, well, I'm about to say. <laughs> no, I'm not the defendant. We're the plaintiff. Okay. But, but I'm just I'm nervous. Got, she got to summon. She <laughs> got to tell him that she knows you. That she can't be. Well, on not only does she not only does she know me, but um, she was actually at the at the um grocery store. Uh, she was coming out, walking out of the grocery store to her car, mm -hmm. and looked over and seen my vehicle in an accident and ran over and she was one of the ones who was um uh doing C uh, cpr and stuff on me so i mean like so would she be called as a witness instead <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, it's crazy that she got a jury summons for it we were like what yeah i don't see how no she, she won't be able to serve on a jury but she'll be able to be a witness but I'm super nervous about going in front of a jury. Never done that before. You'll be all right. Get up there and just <laughs> walk in there. Just don't wear them short suits. <laughs> hey. Definitely not. Just walk up in there like a boss. You'll be fine. Yep. It's like just kind of embarrassing because I know this is going to get brought up and like for the first two, three weeks after my accident, I didn't have any control of my bladder because of my back injuries. But that needs to be brought up. I yeah. know, but it's, it's so embarrassing. It's embarrassing. That's a big deal. Yeah, yeah but that is something that needs to be brought up. Yeah. It's, it, that's what's caused by the accident. Yeah. yeah. And it's, it could have been something that would have been a lifelong thing <laughs> that would have altered your your lifestyle mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying how hard did they hit you um it was so i was hit i was rear, i was sitting at a red light waiting for it to turn green and um i was rear-ended by a state trooper he was doing 55 <gasps> oh, and Lord. his brakes failed and, and he was it, in his patrol car right he was in um or was it personal? off duty car. He, he was he was off duty but in his car oh see so yeah, i want to know okay you're off duty was he in uniform no so was he using his his patrol car off yep. duty for personal use yeah oh see i would bring that up and and so then when he hit me it caused me to go forward and hit the vehicle in front of me um so it was like a double double oh. winning <laughs> yep um but um doing that fast that's yeah. yeah yeah that's really fast to come to a stop that quick wow and he admitted faults and everything it's, it's not about him admitting fault it's his insurance company not wanting to settle for like even after my medical bills and stuff it's mm -hmm. <laughs> i mean it'll never make up for a whole year of my life that you know it's so messed up Right. And you still the, have issues. Permanent. The thing you still have headaches and issues from it. Huh? Yeah, I have permanent issues. But I don't know what's gonna happen. I'm just nervous. You'll win. Yeah, I mean I know I'll win. I just, I just don't know what they'll decide. I have four hundred thousand dollars in medical bills, so Well they better be paying your medical bills. I mean, mm -hmm. that's that's where your other issue needs to be brought up exactly yeah there's a lot of issues because um i couldn't i couldn't drive 
for a very long time because of my injuries. I couldn't get Jaden to doctor's appointments and stuff. It, there was, it was like a lot. Yeah. Yeah. All of that will be brought up, and I know it's embarrassing, but it's, it's, it's a bladder part. <laughs> yeah, but it's it's something that needs to be brought up. It's like they temporary. Need, it's just temporary, okay? But it could have been something much more worse. It would have no, been a lifelong no. thing. That's that's not what I mean. I mean, enduring having to listen to that is temporary. Oh, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, but they need to know because you have lifelong issues from that right. that you need yep. to be sure that you're getting compensated for. Exactly. And your yeah. and and your medical bills are being paid. Yeah, exactly. That's the thing. They gotta pay your medical bills and, and compensate you because you went through you know yep. you're still going through. Right? Yeah. That's the one and only car accident I've ever been in my whole entire life. <coughs> Um, yeah, and it was but, bad enough to I don't ever want to be in one again ever. <laughs> I still can't sit at a red light without staring at my rearview mirror. Yeah, you're going to. You're going to do that for the rest of your life. Yeah, and I'm still jumpy. Yeah, you're going to have anxiety about it too. Mm -hmm. They're just lucky that <laughs> Jaden wasn't in the car. Yeah. Oh yeah, because that would have, it could have been a lot worse than it was. Yeah, I gotta quit looking at means and gifts and all that. Okay, I really gotta stop. I apparently like living on the edge because I'm on my portable charger because I came outside to smoke. And I've been watching my phone at 1% for the last, like, 9, 10 minutes. Oh, good Lord, girl. <laughs> it won't go up. That's how bad StreamYard is. It's on the portable charger, and it will not move from 1%. Well, I'm going to be getting out of here anyway in a minute, so hopefully it'll it'll hang hang on there. Yeah, yeah I think I'll hop down there. Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm going to start sending you a, some type of alert, like, Charge your phone. Yeah, like at eight o'clock in the morning. Charge your yeah, phone. Yeah, charge your phone for the lap tonight. Yeah. Keep it on the charger. Can you also include a little note that says, Hey, if you're looking for your glasses, they're probably on your head. That was really <laughs> I can probably do that too. <laughs> well, mine's always on my face, so Yep. All right, okay. guys. Well, have a good night. All right. Well, thank you for coming up. I am going to drop down, too. I love okay. everybody. Yeah, good night and sleep safe. Okay. You, too. Thank you for coming up. Mm, have a good night, everyone. You, too, Betty Jo, and thank you for coming up as well. No problem. Always have fun up here. Oh, sure. It's been a blast tonight. All right. Y'all have a good night. All right. You, too. Bye. Bye. Uh, sending a 50 foot, that's, Elsie, that's exactly what she needs. She needs a 50 foot extension cord. Alright, y'all, I'm about to get out of here as well. I gotta go see if there's anything to eat. I'm hungry now. Y'all got me in here talking about food and everything else. Um, I will be back tomorrow night. Since I am feeling better, the headache is starting to go away. Avery, have a good night. So, um, thank you all for coming and hanging out with us. It's been a blast. Summer, have a good night. Betty Joe, you have a good night. I love you all, and I will talk to you all tomorrow. <laughs>